And we're live, Rose, honey. Come on. Come on, Daddy's ready to cook some food. Come on, sweet petite. Let's go. Yes, come to Uncle Art. Come to Uncle Art. We're at Cinco de Mayo. We got so much food to make. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. She just woke up from nap, you guys. Look at you. You're so fresh and ready to go, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Hope you're having a great day. Great day over here. Art and I have been crushing videos all day long. At the stroke of 11-ish, we had a million subscribers on the channel. It's Cinco de Mayo. We're making a huge recipe. Talk about a celebration. We're going to make sugar-free keto margaritas. But I think we'll do a proper like celebration live stream on Thursday. So you have, me, have to help me plan the menu for that. Make it very, very special. Um, this one's going to be special too because look at the board over here, right? We're making chicken enchiladas. We're making sugar-free margaritas. We're making roasted tomatillo guacamole. And we would put another one on there, but Lily ran out of letters. We're going to make uh, cauliflower golden rice. So all of it actually is paleo, very close to keto, and to make sugar-free uh, margaritas with a simple syrup made with monk fruit. Ooh, que paso. It's going to be muy delicioso. Muy delicioso. So guys, let's get going because we have a ton of work to make. We got to pressure cook the organic chicken thighs. That'll take some time, but we have so much work to do. So leave a comment down below. Right, let us know how you're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Let us know where you're watching from. Say hello to Art T. Almacy the third. Hello, everybody. Happy Cinco de Mayo and a happy birthday to Marguerite Dawson. Happy birthday on Cinco de Mayo. That's a great time. Marguerite, I'm making a margarita. How about that? Kiko Pepeguera. Kiko. Turd. I love the turd. Smiling turd. I love that, right? Um, so we got a lot of ingredients here. I got my Instant Pot ready to rock and roll. Got my plates and bowls from Tulum, Mexico that we brought back when Desi and I went there a couple of years ago. Um, so let's get rocking, Rose. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you over here with sure Lily in the meantime. From MG. And then I'll come back. So Stang guys, keep man. leaving comments down below. Robbie we got Briggs, Stangman Kathleen, from Austin, Texas. Quinlan. Let us know where Bye you're love. watching from. I'm very, Taylor. very excited. To all of the people celebrating, Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Uh, hoy yo quisiera cocinar mucho, mucho comida de México, de oh, yeah. Tex-Mex, mucho sabor. Muy fácil y muy, muy requismo. The first thing we have to do is fire up the uh, Instant Pot here, right? Because we're going to pressure cook the chicken thighs. Now, I want to make a relatively quick pressure cooked chicken thighs. So, boneless, skinless chicken thighs one of my favorite cuts, but they really need to be organic. This is the best you can do at the store. You can't get uh, pasture raised. So I'm going to throw those in the pressure cooker with some, this is brand new, Siete Green Enchilada Sauce. It's probably the cleanest one on the market We look for ingredients. Look at those are tomatillos, jalapenos, apple cider vinegar. We're going to put that in there with some oh, Finley's recommending tequila and spindrift. <laughs> well, that's, I got a couple of good tequilas back here. I haven't had that. That sounds lovely. Finley is an, uh, he's a sommelier of liqueur and Crevassier and Mickey. So if he says it's good, it's good. His so, daughter Brooke turned 19 on the third. Oh, so, very cool. Yeah. Happy birthday to Brooke. She made that beautiful drawing of Art and I. This is all I'm going to put in my pressure cooker. We're going to do it for 35, 40 minutes. I don't have time to saute aromatics or sofrito and do all that stuff, so why bother? So come back here real quick, Art. I'm gonna turn on my pressure cooker. Hey, Des, you want me to save a piece of chicken for Rose? Oh, you cooked it already? Okay, so I have chicken thighs. It'll work with chicken breast too, but I love that thigh meat, right, Art? Oh yeah, that's where it's at. So we'll put that in there. You could also do this with pork shoulder or Boston butt, that'd be great. So put that in. Let me wash my hands really quick. Kirsten made Rick Bayless's Oaxaca barbacoa slow cooker recipe with frontera salsa and siete cassava tortillas and organic corn tortillas, Boynton Beach, Florida. Sounds wow. Great, Sounds like a potty in Boynton Beach. Rick Bayless is the man. That's our favorite restaurants are from him. I'll add a little bit of the enchilada sauce, right, from siete. And then I'll add some bone broth and some salt and pepper. That's it, you guys. Because... In 35 minutes, magic is going to happen. All right. It's going to get nice and tender. Everything's going to fall apart. And we'll use that. We're going to shred the chicken. And we'll fill it into some Siete Paleo tortillas. Roll them, sauce them, cheese them, and bake them. But I am going to need your help before I roll them. Roll them with my homies, right? Because I need 
some guidance on if I have to put the uh, the, ch the tortillas in oil first. So look at that, three ingredients, three chords in the truth, right, Art? That's right. Three ingredients in That's the truth, need, right there. So we'll slap on the lid to the old IP. There we go. And we'll go pressure cooker, check it out, RDO. You did not wash the meat before you put it in the Instant Pot. Concern of bacteria? Ooh, you know, I'm gonna let Arthur handle that question no. in a second. So uh, I think Ann, was that your name? Yeah, Ann, you never want to wash chicken. You're not doing yourself any good, and you could be doing yourself a lot of bad. You're just, just going to spread bacteria. Look, you spread it. So I wash the chicken, right? Which doesn't splish need to be washed. Splish, off the chicken, right? Yeah, splish, splash. You were drip, taking a bath. Drip, drop off the chicken. Drip, drop in salmonella everywhere. Don't do that. Listen, if there happens to be any kind of bacteria or salmonella on there a little bit, th the pressure in here is so high, it's going to get above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Under pressure, those mm -hmm. things die. So forget about it, all right? Not the same. All right, so that... <laughs> It's not the same. That's done, all right? We just gotta wait for that and we'll shred them. If you're just joining Feliz Cinco de Mayo, here's the menu, chicken enchiladas, sugar-free margaritas, tomatillo guacamole with roasted tomatillos folded into some guacamole, and we're gonna make some cauliflower rice. Lots of work doing. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, high five, we hit a million subscribers today. Very, very cool. Um, and share, we're gonna be on for a while. Take the link, share it over to Instagram stories, to Facebook, all that good stuff, right? Have you ever had a cucumber margarita? That's um, one of the questions. I don't know. Stangman says they're the best. It does sound refreshing. So if you go to Frontera in Chicago, their Topolo margarita is to die for. They make it with top-notch ingredients. And I'm gonna make a simple syrup with a monk fruit sweetener, actually a golden monk fruit sweetener to make a keto. And I'm not gonna use triple sec or orange liqueur. Stuff is garbage. They always put fake uh, natural flavors in there, artificial flavors, it's horrible. Hey Dusty, uh, come on, say hi. Not a Alansor, I'm doing your shrimp salsa and butter for today. Ooh, that's a good one. Mi esposa, hey Dusty, <laughs> en la casa. <laughs> Hola, como están? Como están, amigos? Oh, uh, yeah, that, that, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, and that uh, shrimp buttery uh, salsa is really, really tasty. We got a lot of work to do, all right? Mm -hmm. That's how we work hard. That's how we Vámonos, do. apúrate, amigo. <laughs> apúrate, sí, claro que sí, amiga. Claro que sí. Yeah, fresh. Oh. I'm actually going to use a little bit of uh, Meyer lemon juice for the uh, for the margars. So I'm going to preheat the oven for blistering the tomatillos. What's up, Art? Ashley was saying, ask Art, what's this three chords in the truth reference? That was from Bono and you too. Uh, I think on the Rattle and Hum album on their cover of All Along the Watchtower, he said, all I got is a red guitar, three chords in the truth. So go to the Okie dokie. Brand new, just came. I got my mini quarter sheet trays. Don't be like me. Don't put these in the uh, in the dishwasher because the dishwasher stained them. So my beautiful shiny new ones got stained. You want it to look like you've used it? No, but I, I want to use them for the new cookbooks. They look shiny. So kind of, I just bought two more. So I'm gonna have a lot. So trivia number one for the day. Hi, sweetie. These are tomatillos, right? Are they a member of the tomato family? Yes or no? Um, they come in this paper husk here, Art. So you gotta peel away the husk, and you can boil them, but Rick Bayless says to broil them. They're Gina always... Beto, $5 super chat. Gina, oh Gina, oh Gina, you normally do $2. You're so merci beaucoup, thank Cinco. you. Cinco first. Do you wanna bring over uh, Rose? And put her in the video or what? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Sounds like when, an ESPN when show. She's ready to have some, uh... Cinco for Cinco. <laughs> uh, a little bit of poblano pepper, go in there. It's gonna be a live stream, guys. Uh, it's gonna be... You gotta wait for a pressure cooker. There's tomatillos be being roasted. Pour yourself a drink. Uh, drinks are being made. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a life. Hey, you wanna help a me? You wanna start making the simple syrup for me? Or I not? wasn't playing on it, but sure. You don't have to if you don't want to. Where's uh, the recipe? Uh, in my head. Well, okay. To make a simple syrup, it's equal parts water and sugar. So just do like uh, three quarters of a cup of sugar, monk fruit sweetener, and three quarters of a cup of filtered water. Bring it to a simmer. That's it. I really hope this is going to dissolve, you know? No, Jess, I, I, no I've done it before. I made oh, okay. uh, lemonade with that last uh, last year, and I like the golden one. I've never done it, but the golden one will give it a nice golden color for the margaritas, and I love gold art. So yeah, a bunch of y'all said, no, it's not a tomato. It's uh, a gooseberry. It's in the gooseberry family. I see that. Colette, just love the cookbook. Just got it on Amazon. Thank you. I always forget to put it back here. I'm the worst promoter ever. All right. Thank you so much. There's a bunch of keto Mexican recipes in the cookbook. So make sure to check that out, of course. And I think next. Wait, that much 
three-quarter cup? Well, do a half a cup. That's fine. Do a half a cup of that. doesn't matter. Thank you, Ana Maria Pelea. Ana dollars. Maria from Maryland. Thank Welcome you so much. She's Art such a supporter. Appreciate that. Um, we're starting the photography for the new cookbook on Monday, right? Next week. Next week. We better hurry. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's Monday, but next what, week. Next week. So next week, I will tell you what the new book's all about. So I got to roast these. I'm going to roast or broil a poblano pepper. Trivia, what's the dried version of a poblano pepper called? Peppers are really goofy. When they're fresh, they have different names from when they're dried. It's very, very strange. And I want to take a little bit of red onion, right? And I'm going to use, I'm going to blend all these up. And I'm going to use some of it in the guaca salsa. And I'm going to use some of it in the, uh, just as a little condiment, right? Guaca salsa is just a mix of guacamole and roasted tomatillos. So Desi put the monk fruit in the water there. And then I do want to season this with just a little spritz of avocado Jackie oil. Jackie Haddon Spiegel, 1999. Oh, Jackie. Apo Cinco de Mayo, Flav City. Jackie, you're the best. Thank you, Jesse. Family. Jackie Haddon Siegel. Happy Cinco de Mayo to Kelly you, too. Weinstein, Kelly Weinstein, Love your cookbook and lives. Quick keto question. Yes. What do you think about Swerve and which stevia is Bobby approved? There are many at the store. Uh, there are. So I don't like Swerve because every single bag has natural flavors. Stevia, anyone works as long as it doesn't have natural flavors in the liquid form and as long as the other ingredients are just either lactose or um, nothing else. So if I look at, for example, Kelly, by the way, thank you for that super chat. If I look at this one from Trader Joe's, right? It's stevia and the other ingredient is just lactose. I'm okay with that. If it has um, like the cheap ones at uh, Aldi will have maltodextrin, you do not. Repeat, do not want that. Thank you so much. Okie dokie. So I'm just gonna broil this and you want the tomatillos to blister and the poblanos to blister too, right? So I know my buddy Stangman watching in Austin knows all about this. Tex-Mex food. Amber, just Google bad pickle t-shirts. Yes. That's where most so t-shirts come we, from. I love tequila, we just don't drink very often. This is a great one. We're gonna make the margarita. You can use a Blanco, but a Reposado, or if you want to make a posh one, an Añejo is nice. I love Don Julio. I haven't touched this in probably a long time. Oh, in ball, Ray one day, $10. Oh, who's coming by there? We got, a, we got a passenger. Hey, Happy passenger. Happy Cinco de Mayo, and congrats on 1 million subscribers, $10. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much in ball. That is very, very sweet. Hey, you. Hey, are you going for a walk? Whoa. <laughs> um, and this one's an Añejo we brought back from uh, Mexico. Maestro Taquerero. We might even use this, make it fancy, right? Mirna, $4.99, keep it up. Mirna, you're so sweet. Pressing, uh, or bicep curling. Uh, oh, I like that one. And Sonali, congratulations Sonali, on one million. So we hit one million subs this morning. It was very, very exciting. I appreciate that. Bobby, do you put your roasted poblanos in a plastic bag? Yes, when it comes out, I'll put them uh, in a plastic bag or steam you can cover a, a bowl with some plastic wrap to steam, right? Art's all about steam, right? Uh, let's see. How long, uh... We just got to do it until it dissolves. So we'll just keep our eye on that. No hey, problem, Sweet Pea. Okay. Ever tried the green stevia? Uh, green? Oh, uh, green leaf? I don't uh, know. It says green stevia. I like green leaf. That's the... They're mostly flavored, and even the plain one has natural flavor, so I don't like that. Christian, the goober was... Okay. It would taste better on bread, but... Uh, the I'm goober. not running out to buy Goover. I'm not we, begging him to let me take We just did a either. whole video about jams and jellies, and we went over a ton. And I got this just for fun at uh, Walmart. It's Goober's. It has 19 grams of added sugar. It's cloyingly sweet. I tried it on camera just for the fun of it. It was, it was that sweet. It was disgusting. It was really disgusting. Karuna Rose! An amazing Hasn't come up emoji here. hugging a trophy and $20 holler. Oh. There Thank you is. for that. You guys are so sweet. Uh, yeah, Gina, we'll get a gold plaque. Hey, Desi, bring the, um, the silver plaque. Uh, so when you get 100,000, they send you a silver plaque. I'll show you that. When you hit gold, probably in two months it comes in the mail. They'll give you, uh, I'm sorry, when you hit a uh, million, they give you a golden plaque, which is really cool. And then 10 million, they'll send you a, I think it's a diamond, diamond. or plaque. So that should be pretty cool, right? Let's see. Yeah, the maltodextrin, Judy, in the stevia is toxic. Throw that away. They, they sell it in that big bag at, uh, at uh, Aldi. It's bad news. So we have our pressure cooker chicken going. Great. It just came to pressure. 35 minutes. That's done. We are making our simple siropa for our sugar-free margaritas. 
without uh, orange alcohol. And we're broiling our tomatillos and such for our guaca salsa. We also need to make golden cauliflower rice. And I'll start preheating the oven after this to bake the, uh, the enchiladas. Now here's my question. I've never actually made authentic uh, enchiladas. We're gonna use paleo cashew flour tortillas. The Siete cashew ones are expensive, but they have the most similar texture and flavor to flour tortillas, Rose. It's true. Now, my question is, I know typically they dip it into oil to make it pliable. I don't wanna use that much oil. Can I maybe spray them with a bunch of avocado oil and then keep them warm in the mini oven here wrapped in a wet paper towel? Can someone who knows enchiladas or an abuela, is there an abuela watching? Dime, dime. Jonathan Hill, 999, congrats. Good job, guy. It was because <laughs> of the vegan mac. The vegan mac. I gotta write that recipe and hint, I'm trying to adapt it to be in the cookbook. And it's a little challenging, so I'll tell you next week the, the gif of the, uh, the gist of the cookbook. Wait, why don't you want to use oil? Um, well, I don't want to dip the whole thing in like a pan of oil and like waste like a cup of oil. Right, so spray, see, spray them, Bobby. Belinda Some people says, are saying no. I don't know. Is that a response to your question? No, that's, that's not authentic. I'm guessing. Dip it in enchilada sauce. That is what grandma did. Oh. No, VC, the, the things are delicious. Bobby, spray them flash fry them in oil. See, I don't want to do that. It's too much work. I don't want to flash fry them. How much oil do you need? Well, if you got a flash fry, you need at least some, right? Hmm. I don't know that you need to like dunk them. Like if you have like a good, if you pan fry them. You need to deep fry them in oil to make the authentic ones. All right. We just dipped them in sauce. Interesting. Gosh, I saw Rick Bayless recipe where he just sprayed them and put them in a plastic bag in the microwave. I won't use the microwave, but hmm. Yeah, I won't use corn tortillas because we're doing paleo. A lot of people say spray them and heat them. All right, we'll revisit that later on. In the meantime, we can just uh, prep the stuff for the guacamole. So I'm combining my guacamole recipe with roasted tomatillos. You've probably heard me say a million times, Char in the Char's house. Char's in the house. My, my secret to guacamole that we learned in Mexico, right? We were in, just outside of Mexico City, visiting the pyramids in Teotihuacan. And we went to a pretty well-known restaurant called La Gruta, called The Cave. And we had the guacamole there and it was so tasty. The server told me it's because they don't add lime juice to the actual guacamole. They pickle the red onions in that. And he explained to me why. He said, yo, Bobby, limes like this are very acidic. And the fruit of guacamole or avocado, bless you, Dusty, is very, very delicate and subtle. And the lime juice is gonna overpower that. So by doing what I'm doing now, cutting the onions into a fine dice and then squeezing lime juice over that, you're doing two things. You're taking away the raw sabor, the raw flavor of the onions, the cebolla, and you're pickling them, which adds just enough acid to the fiesta, right? I know Art, he doesn't want to drop too much acid in a fiesta. He just wants just the right amount. <laughs> oh, Dios mio. Jim M, when I, when I hear you say siete, I hear CTA. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my beautiful, look at this. Got that in Telum, Mexico. Right? Una mocajete. Belinda wanted to say to you that uh, syrup in Spanish is jarabe. 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 Ah. Jarabe de monk fruits. All right. Mi jarabe de monk fruits. Está listo. ¿Cómo se dice? Melted. Azúcar. Melted. Con uh, agua. Y está listo. Dissolved would probably be. Yeah. Dissolved. Appropriate. Thank you, Art. You could <laughs> melt it if you didn't put the water. So we'll put that to the side. Right? There. Derido, Derido, muchas gracias, Belinda. Derido. Accidental housewife, my amigo. Feliz de cinco mayo and cheers to one million subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Derito. Sounds like Dorito. So now I gotta wash my lime. Now I'm just going to squeeze a bunch of lime juice over. And the like beautiful thing about this is it also can be used as a garnish or a candamento, right? To put on top of your uh, enchiladas because pickled. Pickled food is delicious, especially in a rich dish like enchiladas. I love the smell of limes. In They're me just too. so refreshing. I agree. So if you want my game day guacamole recipe, search Flav City guacamole in the description box below this video. 
is where I put all the ingredients I'm using for this recipe. Cochi fuchi, us Mexicans fuchi, roast fuchi. tomatillos or, t or tomato paste with chocolate and cinnamon. Mole. Oh, it's called mole enchiladas has a deep and savory flavor. That sounds great. You know what I say to that? Holy mole, 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 mole. That sounds good, right? Mmm. Mole is a little too complicado. Uh, question, uh, forgive me, did you use equal parts monk fruit and water for the simple syrup? Claro que sí. Con simple siropa es igual, igual, aqua y azúcar. So you just push this aside. This can pickle as long as you want. But this, great for garnish and great for our guacamole, right? Perfect. We're going to use a lot of limes. I went to uh, Whole Foods and they were almost out of limes. And I heard in the chat room before this that a lot of grocery stores were low because people are prepping for their uh, for Cinco de Mayo. So they're running low. But I also got some Meyer lemons, right? I'll make a little Meyer lemon and lime juice for our margaritas. Que pasó? Shaheen in the house. Shaheen, all the way from Abu Dhabi. Do you all celebrate... Uh, any kind of a Cinco de Mayo in uh, Abu Dhabi. I'm sure you guys have some Mexican restaurants out there, right? Maggie B's in the house. Okay, keep leaving comments down below, you guys. We're gonna be on for a long time because- like Three hours? Uh, no. Someone said in the comments, you hit a million subscribers, you should have made the three hour ragu for art. <laughs> so, este cena hay mucho, mucho trabajo. Yo cocino el pollo en el pressure cooker. Yo hacer um, arroz de califlor y margaritas sin azúcar y arroz. Pero este arroz es quito porque yo uh, usar califlor y turmeric y leche de coco. Todo está bien, todo está fácil, todo está delicioso. ¿Qué pasó? Shaheen no está en Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Dubai. She's in Dubai. Oh, that's right. Sorry. And yes, they do have Mexican restaurants. Good. I knew, I, they have everything in uh, Dubai. Come on now. Yeah, we still have Meyer lemons, baby. You know it, Rebecca. Ah, muchas gracias, Belinda. What next? What next? Let's do... Let's check on our tomatillos. So see what's happening here? Right, what's your uh, Mexican name, Art? Arturo. Arturo y Roberto en la cocina. So, mira, mira, amigos. Oh, mi plano y uh, poquito blistered, uh, yo quiero más. Y está poquito, poquito en el tomatillo y uh, cebolla. Y yo quiero más sabor, más calor. Y está perfecto, pero ahora. Ok, I'm going to up the broiler just a little bit. Let's get it rocking. So you, you can make a tomatillo salsa with boiled, but Belinda, correct me if I'm wrong, and I've heard my boy Rick Bayless say it many times, you just don't get a lot of sabor out of boiling it. It's much better to roast or grill tomatillos, right? Happy birthday, Janine Patino. Janine, happy birthday. I salute you with cilantro. Raise your hand if you can't eat cilantro because you think it tastes like soap. They say roughly 15 to 20% of people have a genetic disposition that it tastes like soap. It's not your fault. And I actually don't cook with it very often, but I figured for a Cinco de Mayo, we should, right? All right, let's get going on our arroz de califlor. I hand grated that earlier. Susan board, $2 super chat. Susan. Thank, you, Susan. Thank you, Susan. Lindsay Miller hates cilantro. Yeah, see? There's no like, I don't like it, I hate it. You either like it or you hate it. There's no in between. Jill chops in the house. Jill, my girl, how's it going? So. This recipe for the rice is straight out of the cookbook. By the way, I put the link in the description box if you want to check out the uh, Flav City Keto Meal Prepping Cookbook. But this is probably one of my favorite side dishes in the book. Art knows where I'm going immediately. So here it is. We're making this rice right here. It's, uh, it's cauliflower rice with turmeric, ginger, onions, garlic, coconut milk, and garnish with nuts, unsweetened coconut flakes, herbs. In the book, it's paired with Moroccan chicken stew. Right? Look at that photo. And in the book, just like every recipe, tells you, hey, this one's also paleo, egg-free, dairy-free meal prep. Every photo, uh, every recipe has a photo in there. And it ships international. So if you live abroad, just search Flav City on Amazon. If you live in the U.S., you can use my affiliate link so I get a little commission, right? Even though they dropped it, I still get a little something, something. Still a number, we're exactly at a year now and it's still the number one bestseller. High five, a million subscribers. High five, right? Rocking and rolling, baby. To infinity and beyond. Okay. 
I'm gonna preheat my pan. It's the most delicious cauliflower rice that really doesn't make you miss starchy huat rice, right? You ain't gonna miss it, I promise you. So it starts with red onions, and we'll need some garlic and some ginger. And let me get another onion. So I wanna show you Knife School 101, right? Mm, this onion's used already. I'll do it on this one here. So, peel away the papery side, right? I and mean, you probably have seen me do this before. Perch your fingers on top and make planks on the bottom like this. When your fingers are perched on top like a scarecrow, you cannot cut them, right? Then, fingers back like the claw. Arr, the claw art. Try to make them as close together as possible. And then fingers back, lace it out, Dan. What's that from Art? <laughs> you knew that, but you didn't know the part where I said, it's in the bone, it's in the bone. I've seen the movie maybe once or twice. Oh, okay. Long time ago. Okay, and then you get a nice fine dice like that, right? Then I'll run my knife through it one more time. Ace Ventura, that movie was so old, wow. Yeah, I don't even know what year that was. Have you guys been watching the, uh, the Bulls documentary, The Last Dance, on uh, ESPN? I didn't see this weekend's episodes, but Art did, right? Yeah, I love this show. A little bit of Brings olive oil. some very fond memories it does. of Bulls growing up around here. It, totally, it actually reminds me of exactly where I was for a lot of those key moments. Like, it brought back the exact memory and feeling like when Jordan hit that shot over Cleveland in the, uh, the playoffs, I think it was. Like yeah, I remember being... like 89 or 90. Yeah, I, I remember being at my cousin's house in the living room watching it. It was pretty crazy. Okay, so onions go in. We'll salt them now because I'm not trying to caramelize. I'm trying to saute them. A little bit of salt. A little bit of peps. And my... You add any heat, any heat to this dish tonight is asked by Jill Chopsky, of course. Yeah, so you can. I'm really not going to add too much. I have my poblano pepper here. It's going to add a little bit of heat, but we like heat, mild, right? What about some red finger peppers as a garnish? I, I think I'm out, and they didn't have them yesterday. What? I'm sorry. They didn't have them yesterday at Whole Foods. So, uh, yeah. The heat level is totally customizable, right? We just kind of keep it on the DL. And Jill, you crack me up, Jill. Save that. Jim All right. See my hand. There you go. I feel like a hand. Thank you, Q Carson. I appreciate that. Knuckles from the dry air. <laughs> Art Stephanie wants to know why are chili powders always red? Where's that question? Ancho chili powder, red chili powder. This is more like brick. Funny, I didn't see that question. I, I have to assume that they start out red before you make them into powder. Yeah, most, uh, most of the, the common chilies they use to make powders are red. And by the, like, even if you took some chili that's like green, by the time you dehydrate it, it probably turns something right. darker than that. Because if you look at the chili powder here, this isn't red. I'd say that's more brown or rusty colored. George Costanza would be jealous, Art. Of your, of your hands? Yeah. The ha Art's a hand model. That's the episode where he touches the iron in Jerry's dressing room, right? Something like that. Because like... Someone pushes him into that. I forget, something like that. Uh, garlic, put that over here. All right, guys, we're 1,400 people already. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Denise says, Rose, please, when is she appearing? She started the episode. She'll we be back. With Rose. I think Desi has to make some food for her first. Evie, $5. Evie. You two are awesome. Hi, Rosie and Desi. Congrats on 1M. Thank you so much. So, guys, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know what you're making for Cinco de Mayo. Or if you're a uh, Seinfeld fan, Pú de Mayo. Pú de Mayo. And uh, share. Take the link. Share it over to Instagram Stories and Facebook. Say your boy Flav City's hanging out. That's nasty. Making Cinco de Mayo recipes. Just hit a million subbies today. Come join us. Where else do you want to be? It's quarantine. Q, Car Q Carson's uh, wife's birthday is today. Wow. To Get to the margaritas. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Yeah, I'll do margaritas next, you guys. It's a very simple margar. Very simple. I actually have a whole book of margaritas from Rick Bayless. Most margaritas will call for making a simple syrup. A simple syrup is typically equal parts huat sugar, what I call the devil, and water. But look in here, Art. I made a simple syrup out of monk fruit, golden monk fruit, 
and water. You can use this also to make lemonade. I did that last summer. It's delicious. Hand, we'll come... model, hand model episode is the puffy shirt episode. Oh, same one? Dang, nice. So. You look like a pirate. I want to be a pirate. <laughs> um, we'll combine that with some freshly squeezed lime juice. You cannot use canned or jarred ones. Fresh lime juice, fresh Meyer lemon juice. Uh, tequila, ice, shake, 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 senora, shake your margarita, right? And we'll serve it, right? Hey, flying rose. All right, it's gonna be delicious. Now I'm not using triple sec or Quantro because that's fake, right? They infuse that with artificial flavors, natural flavors and bogus stuff like that. I don't want that. That's gross. And I don't even have it. I'm not going to buy a bottle just for making margaritas for the first time in a year and a half. Fernando V, $5. Are frozen avocados Bobby approved? You know what? I'll answer that, Fernando. And thank you so much for the super chat. Does this answer your question? Aldi, frozen avocado chunks. Now, it's not good for making guacamole, but it's great for making smoothies or turning this into mousse. One of our earliest recipes is a... Um, chocolate avocado mousse and it's delicious right but no don't think that's going to be like a fresh uh a fresh guacamole because it ain't Lori morse just tried a hot sauce that was one million scoville units She's are you melting. crazy Lori? that's insane in the membrane wow so i don't want to chop my uh ginger just because i want it to melt into the dish now think about how delicious this cauliflower rice is going to be um, and you don't want to use frozen because what happens with frozen cauliflower rice art? It gets uh, watery. It gets watery and soggy, right? No one wants a soggy dish. Because uh, somebody dish. tore down those cell walls, right? Tore, tear down those cell walls, Mr. Cauliflower. Freshly grated is the best. But imagine this. We're going to cook onions, garlic, ginger. We're going to put turmeric. We're going to put coconut milk, cauliflower. Let it cook, infuse. A little bit of bone broth. We're going to put unsweetened shredded coconut flakes, nuts. It's gonna be so darn tasty. We're pairing that in case you didn't hear with chicken enchiladas. We're pressure cooking. Okay, every time I say that, I wanna say under pressure. Char! Troyer, 1999, so good to be here. We love having Char from Michigan. She's a longtime fan. So Char, in case you didn't hear, we're pressure cooking our chicken thighs organic with uh, enchilada sauce. Really, really clean one from uh, Siete, bone broth. And that's it. Salt and pepper. We're going to shred that. Fill it in paleo cashew tortillas, which are delicious. And bake them with uh, cheese and all that good stuff. It's going to be great. I guarantee it. Time to rehydrate the board, Bobby, says Shaheen. Uh, it, it, I just did it literally. Wow, I did it like uh, two weekends ago. But I use it so much, it is looking a little dry. How about that? Thank you, Shaheen. Oh, well, it is winter here. So, well, it's spring, but it's not warm yet. Yeah, you want to get a little mineral oil. So go to Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. My cutting board is on there, but also you get mineral oil. You rub it in there with a little bit of a uh, paper towel or a rag, That'll and it's good to go. Here. Living with Z, 10 Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Z. You're a sweetheart. Question, Sam's Club has a good affordable avocado oil. I have seen it. And it is Bobby approved. It's all good. It's uh, expeller pressed. Is Costco honey bunk? I would only get the um, the raw locally sourced. I wouldn't get the, the clover honey one. I would only get the raw one. And they have a great deal on that. I bought a big one for Johnny P recently. Jillian Wood says uh, board wax is good after the oil too. I've never heard of that. I've heard of surfboard wax. Art likes the, um, the booze mystery. Mystery oil. Mystery oil. Mystery oil. I need me a can of coconut milk. You know what I got? For the first time, I've been splurging and getting this native forest coconut milk on Thrive Market. It is an extra dollar, but guys, the texture of this native forest is amazing. Wouldn't you agree, Desi? This seems like a really, really good uh, coconut. The, the texture is unbelievable. Okay, now I'm gonna add turmeric to my rice to make it go. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, do I want to add the turmeric before I add the coconut milk to let it cook? Or do I want to add it after the coconut milk so it really um, kind of blends and dissolves into the coconut milk? What do y'all think? We're rocking and rolling. Oh, I hate when that happens. Candace, uh, fixing Cinco de Mayo dinner, and I just scratched my nose after chopping the Ooh, my nose is on fire. Yeah. 
Uh, Francisco, where do I get all your kitchen supplies? So once again, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Last year, I spent a ton of time putting 85 of my kitchen gear on there. Then Amazon, two weeks ago, cut all of our commissions from 8% to 1% to 3%. Everyone's mad at them, but I still want you to go there to check it out. Okay, uh, Shaheen uh, is asking a question. Bonnie, before, before. Sandra says after, before, before, before. Lots of before. It is before. Because all spices, including turmeric, need to bloom to bring out their real flavor, really pump it up. And the turmeric will really benefit from that blooming stage and uh, I think help the color come out even more. Living with Z again? Whoa. Dang, girl. Hey, Bobby. It's Zeneb from Montreal. Oh, I like Montreal. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Keep killing it. Need to bake some healthy cookies and cakes, please. Where can I find it, please, with simple ingredients? So, flavcity.com, go to the recipe index, search desserts. That has Desi's uh, on there. Um, also, we really like these uh, almond chocolate chip cookies we made. Search uh, almond flour chocolate chip cookies, and the girl's name is Tex Arian. Tex Arian. She had an almond flour and almond butter chocolate chip cookie that was paleo, that was delicious. Thank you for that. So now I'm gonna add the turmeric, about just under a teaspoon or so. And then I'm gonna add another shot of oil. Now come back here. Shaheen, I missed the question. Art. Sorry. I just Somebody hit the top of the, uh, the pressure cooker and the steam hit me for a second. I was like, yikes. Can I put any black pepper in there? Um, there's already black pepper. Okay. Because the black pepper is gonna activate the turmeric and the oil helps your body absorb. Somebody was asking. Helps your body absorb Texan it. Texan Aaron is what somebody says. Yeah, something like that. Texan Aaron. You can't, you put it in that old Google machine, it's gonna spit out the answer. Now look at the color, right? Already it looks beautiful. Now I'll open up my coconut milk. And by the way, pretty much everything we're doing tonight is keto except for the tortillas, which you could do keto if you got those uh, almond ones from that Almond Love Company. But look at this. It really is thick and luxurious and it never gets grainy. I don't know, it must be the quality of the way they make it. But at Whole Foods, this is very expensive, but on Thrive Market, it's uh, $2.99, and the Thrive Market one is $1.99. I don't mind spending a little more money and just getting this one. I'll add some coconut milk. And now look at the color. In living color, uh. I think that comes up every live stream. Every live stream, right? Look at that, right? Beauty. I do want to reduce that a little bit. So it's not so watery. I do want to season that coconut milk. I'll let that reduce for a couple minutes, then I'll add my cauliflower. And then what really separates this, I think, is the garnishes, the fixins. Check out here, we got 12 minutes left on the pressure cooker. And like I said, we're gonna plate everything tonight on this Ziomara. lovely. Oh, Ziomara, oh, muchas gracias, Ziomara. Uh, beautiful plateware, traditional Mexican plateware, lead-free, thank you for that, Mexico. We got it in Telum, Mexico. We had a great time there, Desi and I, about two years ago. Great time. Now it's very touristy, right? And it was kind of touristy when we were there too, but... Ooh, that coconut milk is... Ooh, I wonder if you can make a coconut margarita. Is that gross or would that be good, do you think, Desi? A coconut-infused margarita? Might be kind of weird, right? I might try it. Speaking of, let's make a margarita. You guys, should we do it? Should we make a margar? With fresh coconut, otherwise I think... With fresh coconut? Yeah. Well, excuse me, moi. Hey, Bobby, I just want to say that we appreciate your recipes and tips. We love to, to see Rose, mi familia, te quiere mucho. Thank you so much. Zio Mar 20 minutes? She's going to be out here? All right, set your timer. 20 minutes in for Rose. Pina colada with coconut. That sounds good. Ooh, Belinda says, si, sí, con coco fresco. Like, all right, maybe I'll try one. So how do we make a sugar-free margarita, right? Normally a margarita is... Lime juice, which I have. I'm going to use Meyer lemons too. It's tequila. It's triple sec or Cointreau or orange liqueur in a simple syrup. Well, I'm not going to use the orange liqueur because it has artificial flavors. It's gross, right? How do I make a simple syrup, which is equal parts sugar and water, sugar-free? Here's ML, $10. Thank $10 you. holler. Pear giving you a... Uh... Oh, domo arigato. Thank you for that. This is how my friend Taylor... This is how I make a sugar-free uh, simple syrup. I'm stepping on so much. We might have to do a Dyson break here. I'm stepping on so much stuff on the floor here. We take monk fruit sweetener. I happen to have the golden one, which actually could be really cool in this uh, case. 
I put equal parts that and water in a pot, or actually Desi did it, and uh, we just simmered it until it was uh, melted. Now I have a recipe in terms of proportions here from Bon Appetit. So I have my cocktail shaker, which I never use because we don't really drink. Someone remind me, this is um, a jigger or something. How many ounces is the big one and how many ounces is the small one? Can someone tell me? Because I don't, I don't know about the alcohol stuff. In the meantime, see how this reduced our? That reduced nicely, right? We'll take our cauliflor de arroz. I think you should put some Grand Marnier in there. Some Grand Marnier? I don't have. Go buy it. No, that, we're good. Uh, so what are y'all saying here? Uh, da, 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 da. Two ounces and one ounce. One and a half and one. Okay. What's it called? The jigger and the something or something or another, right? Two uh, ounces. Somebody says big is one and a half. The other one's one. A few people are saying that. So one and a half to one? Okay. I've seen responses both ways, so... Okay. Somebody said one half ounce and two and a half. One half? No, half and two? Interesting. Let's see. Maybe it says that. 20 milliliters and 40. So maybe one to one. two? Kevin Bowles. Kevin! $1. 99. Thank you, that. Kevin. I appreciate that, my friend. I'm just stirring the rice in the meantime, guys. I want to get that, that color, that Damon Wayne's in living color, really spread all throughout the rice here. And sometimes if I know I'm going to be messy, I'll just come over here and I'll just shake, shake it off. Evie, two dollars. Coconut milk, cinnamon, tequila, horchata, margar margarita. No, that sounds yeah, amazing. Sound if you do that, would you also add the uh, the lime juice too, or is the lime in the what well, you put the lime in the coconut? You stick that all up. I guess I just answered my own question. It was song and dance. Okay, that looks proper, right? Who's not gonna want to eat that, right? Go we'll put that on the plate with the enchiladas de pollo y arroz de guacamole, tomatillo. Y uh, serviendo con uh, margarita que pasó abuela approved, right? That's great. I just want to cook it. Hey, pre-USA, this isn't a, a charity drive. Just some people feel like donating. It's called Super Chat. And it's a great feature. We don't ask for it, but people want to. And You guys are so supportive, and we appreciate that. Now, I appreciate you, so I'm going to make a margarita, right? I have some good... Most people don't make tequila, check this out, Art. With Añejo, I'm doing it because we're celebrating a million subscribers, folks, right? So, here's what I want to do. I'm going to fill my cocktail shaker with some ice, I believe, to chill it. Chill to the next episode? That's right. Fill shaker with ice, okay? But, but I think what makes this really cool is the fact that we're using the, uh, the sugar-free monk fruit because you can't ever... Find that. Some places will do it, like Rick Bayless with uh, agave nectar sometimes, but even agave I stopped using because it's high in fructose. Agave actually has the same amount of fructose as a sugar, so it's really not as good as people think it is. Two ounces of tequila. So, is 40 ounces, two ounce, is 40 uh, milliliters two ounces? I'm guessing. Okay. Wait, you said, what'd you say about fructose? Agave has the same amount of fructose as white sugar. Then we need... White sugar doesn't have fructose. Of course it does. It's sucrose. No, it's, sugar is fructose. Um, so now we need uh, fresh lime juice. Fresh lime juice is very, very important, okay? Don't buy the stuff that's pre-made in the jar. It's very important to do it yourself. So I need three quarters of an ounce. Uh, so that would be... Probably the small jigger, but you know what? I'm just gonna eyeball that. I can always tinker it later on. Art showed me that video from Padma Lushki where she <laughs> chugged the uh, bottle of tequila. Do you all see that? Because I think that's BS. There's no way you can drink that much tequila. I'll tell you what's not BS. Hillary Blank just gave you $5. Love you guys. Desi, how do I find your Amazon shop page? Ah, Desi would go to amazon.com slash shop slash desi underscore art and that's all things uh rose rose and desi so amazon.com slash shop slash desi underscore art uh so a little bit of meyer lemon juice in there i had a little more remember the meyer lemons are a cross between a clementine and a lemon then we'll add what else uh 
lime juice, tequila, or oh, the simple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce of the simple syrup. I just love that we made this. Look at this color. This actually works well because the color of the, uh, of the tequila, look at this, it matches. Añejo tequila and Añejo simple syrup. Gloria Haynes, $9.99. I enjoy watching. Thank you. Gloria, thank you, my travel, dear. Travel chick, today's our wedding anniversary. Take a sip of your margarita for us. Congrats on one million. I will do that for sure. Congrats to you. Now we shake it. Tom Cruise style. I don't think Tom, Art has ever seen the movie uh, cocktail. cocktail, have you? No. That's a shame, right? Karen Saba, $9.99. Congratulations. Getting a million subscribers. Thank you for changing the way this New York City girl shops for food and how to cook. I can't read it anymore. For mm -hmm. her family, you guys rock. You're so life. sweet. Muchas gracias, Karen. Thank you. Now, actually, the shaking part is very important because you're really chilling the drink. Right? This would be the part where you like flip it and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. Oh, my God. I haven't checked my... Uh, oh, my inserter! The timer never went off of it because oh. I never set it. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe it's okay here. Oh, you know what? I think it might be all right. It might be all right. Oh, actually, to be honest, it's pretty darn good because look what happened here. So that actually, it actually works for me. Let me just change the uh, oven back here, 400 degrees. So I don't mind this because number one, look at this. This is a little burnt here. That doesn't matter. That comes right off, right? So that's, that not, easy. A, that's not a big deal. This, you want to be burnt. So what I'm going to do with that, hey, Dusty, what's up? Not the margarita, right? I want to settle the dispute between sucrose and fructose. Okay, thank you. Got both. Sucrose is the scientific <laughs> name of sugar, which is made of 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Thank you. It's got both. The disaccharide. Thank you. Desi, the scientist. And somebody else had said that too. I don't remember who. I think okay. I saw a couple of them. So we'll put that in there in the steam. Something Art knows a lot about is going to separate the okay. skin from the fruit, right? And then in the meantime, this can just chill out. So luckily, we didn't burn too much of it. But see how this really, see how this juice, Art? You like the juice? I like it. You don't want to spill. I like that juice. No, you do. You want this for your salsa. Otherwise, it's going to be dry. That's the kind of juice you want. There's really good juice in there. So I'm just going to put this over yonder. Now, Desi, you're gonna have to try the margarita with me since you're here. Oh. Feel how cold it gets when you shake it. It really gets cold. Now, I just wanna make sure because I don't know about the. Yeah, but I wanna uh, check it for seasoning. So I just wanna. How do they do it at the bars like this? I haven't been to a bar. <laughs> I don't think they do it like that. <laughs> they do tap it a little bit. I was gonna say, I haven't been to a bar in like 20 years. <laughs> oh. Snake man's asking, salt or no salt? No, I don't like the salt. I'm not a fan. Yeah, me either. Yes, you try it while I do cleanup. Sometimes, every week, I'm, every day I'm dropping something on the floor. Oh, very nice. Maybe a little more sugar. A little more sugar? I won't like some more sugar. All right. 1925, Letty has the same problem with the shakers. Well, I guess we need a professional, Letty. All right. Add some more sugar? Yeah, add some more sugar. How would it be? With, I'm going to make the second one with coconut milk. Ina Garten says to shake it for 30 seconds. Yeah. I bet Jeffrey's really going to like that. I'm all about what Jeffrey likes. I know Art and uh, Rachel like that. I'm going to mix with the Tyler, $5. Love your videos. Your baby is the cutest. Oh, thank you. Rice is looking really good, by the way, back here. Mm, now we're talking. Is it? Wow. Good, right? Ooh, the combination of the lime and the Meyer lemon is magical. You like it, a margarita. I like it. The funny thing is at a restaurant, they would charge probably... Should we pour it? Yeah, $10 for that. I got really special glasses for this one. Oh, yeah? So I got these beautiful uh, crystal glasses I got from Fortessa here. Oh! Coming close for the pour here, Art. This is easily a $12 margarita. That's another thing about booze. The cheapo inside me doesn't like spending $10 for a glass of wine or $12 for a margarita. How about a that looks, slice of something? Yeah, a little slice of Meyer lemon. How about that? All right, the pressure cooker is done. Love that. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, you need a little slice. Maybe I'll 
you ever had margarita in a what? scotch scotch glass? Yeah. Who cares, right? Who cares? I don't like those margarita glasses that are really tall and everything. There you go. Cheers. All right, cheers. Feliz. Feliz Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. I'm going to make another one with coconut now. Your margarita would easily be $15, you'll say. Right? No, I want to make a coconut one. Oh, coconut one? Yeah. With what? Uh, same ingredients in coconut uh, milk. Cheers, you guys. A million oh, subscribers. It's going to be like... Uh... And here's the story behind that. We've been doing YouTube for eight years. It took five years to get to 100,000. Yeah, we weren't very serious though. Yeah, we, so it took five years to get to 100,000. But in, in 2017, we started taking things really seriously. And we went from 100 to a million in three years, right? Yeah. So, went to zero but, in. But the thing is, yeah, because we, we didn't know, this we didn't really have a niche. Now. We didn't know what we're doing. We're just putting random cooking videos out there Ooh. with no point of view and we were wondering why nothing was happening. Right. Once we zeroed in and tried to, treated it like a business and knew yeah. what we were doing, things were better. All right, let's Desi, make another one. Desi, Shaheen says hi and says you're doing a great job with Rose. How are you? She says, she, I was there from the beginning. I've watched you guys grow. Congratulations, guys. Shaheen. Yes. We have some very loyal fans who have been around, including Shaheen and Shar. Oh, Shaheen's been around for years. Can you check the cauliflower rice for doneness and for seasoning, please? Here's yours. We're at 1.9K. Whoa, we just set a record, too. Whoa. Oh, my God. High five. This is a record. Woohoo! You guys setting records today for the most live streamers ever. Setting a record with a million subscribers. Que paso. Que paso. What? This is exciting. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's make another drink. Now we're gonna make a horchata margarita, right? Ah. So we need an ounce and a half of taquila. Great, man. It's good? Can you- uh, uh, I need a little more seasoning, I feel like. Okay, uh, kill the heat then. And can you add some, a little more salt, some yeah. lime zest? Mm. Guys, look at the color. Ooh, of oh, this, this is beautiful. Dirty rice? Is it dirty rice? No, it's uh, amarillo. Amarillo. Cali, arroz de cali pro amarillo. <laughs> Ray Ray, $1.99. Where you got that shirt? Awesome food ideas. Keep on. All right, where'd I get it? Bad pickle t-shirts. That's right. Um, just on. a touch more salt, and then if you can zest, clean and zest the lemon in there. Hey, Finley, you like it a dance. And then bring in some coconut flakes, and then we'll chop some nuts in there. Just the zest, nothing else. Yeah, I don't think we'll need it. Um, so I put the tequila in there. Finley we need like simple your syrup. Dance there, Bobby. They're like, what? I, I like dance. little dance you did. Bailar. Bailar conmigo. So a little bit of the simple syrup with the monk fruit. We need more lime juice. Stacy! Five dollars and five cents. I love that. Nice. Horchata is delicioso. You know what I really love too? Submarine Chef! Que paso, Dios mío! A fifty dollar holler from my family to you. We love you guys. And we love all that you do for us and our health. You guys are awesome. I have five. That was really nice of you. Wow. You guys are, honestly think we have the, one of the most supportive communities out there. But Desi, I don't know about you, but I think the Meyer lemon sets this margarita off. Like totally next level. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, if they're in season, smoke them if you got them, right? Juice them if you got them in this case. So once again, lemon juice, or Meyer lemon juice, lime juice, tequila, simple syrup, um, let me see if I missed anything here. Mm -hmm. Nope. And then we'll go to cinnamon. 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 Like, the pressure cooker is done, right? Yes. I canceled because it's going to stay hot. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'll get the cinnamon here. We'll put just a little dash, Mrs. Dash of that. And then that beautiful leche de coconut. All right. Always get the full fat coconut, you guys. Low fat is just watered down. And I want to get some of that beautiful, luscious coconut cream in there too. We love all things coconut here, right? So coconutty. Yeah, we're coconutty for coconut. So all that's in there. I'm actually very, very excited. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it this time. So we'll put the lid on. 30 seconds. I don't know if I can do 30, but we'll shake it. In all, two dollars for breaking records and hitting milestones. Woohoo! You're the best. Thank 
you so much. When I you appreciate get those Meyer lemons. Whole, uh, Foods. Whole Foods still has them. Whole Foods is the only people. Ingball, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Okay, now gently. Nope. Nope. Gotta go right here. Right there. Let's see. Nope. Take, and it takes out the cameraman when the thing flies off. Nope. Well, <laughs> nope. <laughs> At least it opened even though it went on the floor. The last yeah. time. It's crazy, yeah. Just one tap and then you should have all Trader Joe has Meyer lemons too. Really? Oh, they have the packets, I think. Oh, huh, you want to try? I don't think I'll be able That's to. crazy. How tough can it be? There's got to be a secret. Bobby is missing his workouts. <laughs> I just open it from here, man. Okay, fine. We'll just pour it now. Check it out. Let's see how the color is. See if it's sweet enough. What? What, to a sample? Can I have a sample spoon? What? If I need to add more sweetener, I can't even open it, for God's sake. Oh, oh I opened it. Oh, look at that color. Oh, look at this art. Leche. Nine ninety nine from Megan Flynn, number one fan. The pair that is rejoicing. Thank you for that. Sandwich. Oh, I love the pair. A little more cocoa. Shake this up one more time. I'm making more of a mess making drinks than food. How funny is that? What kind of nuts? Uh, let's do uh, cashews, cashews and pistachios. All right, check this out, Arthur. Oh, look at that color. This is huge. We're going to split this art. Look at that. That one's going to be $16 because I use premium ingredients, right? Then we'll take our... Uh... Right, does, does that bother anyone else? Going to a, a place and spending like $12 for a margarita when you know there's like... You're going to pour it into another glass, right? Yes, when, when there's like $1 of stuff in there. You don't want to share like this? No. Huh? Hand in hand? Dash of cinnamon on top. I'm going to give you another crystal glass art. Oh, dash of cinnamon on top. All right. That's I like what, uh, who said that? That's classy. Evie. Yeah. Evie says that. Focus down. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Wow. How are you going to get the one with the Meyer lemon? Okay. Cheers. Okay. Salud. Nestorave Lachayim. Cheers. Here's to feeling good all the time. That's wow. Good. I mean, that's dynosity, you guys. I like dessert. Mariano has Meyer lemons, too. Oh, good to know. That is, mm. guys, wow. delicious. Oh, too late, Eddie. <laughs> so um, for that's the ratios, I use this recipe from uh, Google Bon Appetit Sugar-Free Margarita. And uh, use their, uh, their recipe. But do they call for a... Uh... Oh, no, they actually had a simple syrup. So here, our, our, show this real quick, Art. Just screenshot this, and instead of, uh, here, yeah, screenshot that, and the three ounces of simple syrup is with uh, equal parts of monk fruit sweetener and uh, water. That's delicious. Wow. All right, let's get back to cooking, something I'm clearly much better at. <laughs> but hey, that's a delicious drink. I haven't made a margar in ages. According to Mickey right now, 2003 watching. Are you serious? Wow! It says 1.9K, but if you're watching on the browser, it gives a more accurate number, I think. I, yeah, I see 1995 right now. Okay. Wow. This is, guys, this is... Let's just take a step back, right? We had a million subscribers today. It's Cinco de Mayo. We're making an epic recipe, and we're setting a, a subscriber watching uh, <laughs> view party record here. Look at this big bag of uh, pistachios I got. So, to recap. Chicken was cooking with enchilada sauce, bone broth, salt and pepper. That's it. This is done. So now I got to release the hounds here. So what I do for this is I release it and then throw a towel over there so it doesn't put the steam everywhere. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here in the meantime. And we'll get continuing here. We got to finish the uh, beautiful rice. Now, Art, just feast your eyes on this, right? Desi put a little salt and lime zest in there. Oh, so a little bit of lime zest and some salt. But where it really starts to get very exciting is the fixings. But look at that. Who cares? 
There's no rice in there. That's just beautiful. When I say that you with your eyes first. <laughs> just threw rice on me. Did I really? Yeah. All right, some pistachios. That's good luck. Oh, yeah, I got the pistachios. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's done. All right, beautiful. Take a look in this pot of goodness here, Art. Some coconut flakes? Well, sweeten shredded coconut. And then I'll chop some cilantro. Or you'll chop some cilantro because you're already rocking the chopping. And if you don't like cilantro, use chives, use green onions, use parsley. It's just about having something green in there, right? Let me just finish cleaning up here. Adrian, uh, are there any uh, Cinco de Mayo celebrations in Deutschland? There's got to be some, right? Deutschland. Well, he's in Deutschland. I know that, so. Mm, I'm he's really Alabama, digging. As I always say when I see that he's online. And I'm really digging. Else watching in Germany. Mm, mm hmm. Ooh, that cinnamon with the coconut milk. Dios mio, so you guys. That is good. Really, really tasty. Put that extra Meyer lemon in there. Cinco de drinco. No. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are we not supposed to say that? <laughs> That's offensive. Oh, okay. Sorry. It says 2K right now. Ah, I see that too. I it's see that. Holiday, no? no, it's a celebration of oh, the yeah, 1862. Know, yeah, by the way, did you know? Yeah. Cinco de Mayo, Art knew this, is the celebration of the war of 1862 won by the uh, Mexican army versus Napoleon. The Battle of Puebla. The Battle of Puebla, the Mexican army versus the uh, French army led by Napoleon Bonaparte the third oh, right uh, Google. I, I did I did a little Google I want to know what it was some people think it's Independence Day it's not Independence Day that's a different part of the year uh, no no Cinco de Mayo in uh, Bavaria where Adrian is maybe in Berlin they have more Mexican people and culture over there can't even get good tacos or burritos over here Ooh. Uh, no we're looking for uh, new Netflix movies we just watched uh, an Amazon movie with Mindy Kaling, where she was like working on that late night talk show. It was kind of cool. But we're looking for new uh, shows. What are you looking for, Ben? Uh, oh, okay. So let's check this for seasoning. That looks totally bomb. Chandra, I don't really have one. I think wine, I guess. If I'm going to drink, it's usually wine. Not too often. Mmm. The slight sweetness from the coconut flakes, delicious. Now it does need more salt, but I don't want to add that. Instead, I want to add some lime juice. Bobby, have you seen Three Amigos? Three Amigos. It sounds familiar. What is that, a movie or a show? Movie with uh, Steve Martin. Oh yeah, the oh yeah, Steve Martin and... Uh... Martin Short and what, Chevy Chase? Yes. Yeah. Somebody mentioned watching it and I'm like, well, Bobby, I have seen it. What yeah, that is... Not? And they do this like really funny dance where they're like, you know, like, hey, hey, hey. Something like that, right? Yeah. Finley says, how about afterlife? A little raunchy, but funny and heart tuggy language warning. Uh, no, what's, what's that on Finley? I haven't heard of that one. Shaheen, uh, no red chilies. They didn't have any. They were no, we were out of red chilies. We were out hey. of them. Hey, here's Rose. Come on in, Rose. Hey, Everyone say hi to Rose and Lily. Hey, Rose. Okay. Beautiful. You know what's so nice about these margaritas too? You don't taste like monk fruit or anything like that. It's just really, really nice. Dude, let me know if you have extra. I'll make you one. <laughs> yeah. I'm not driving. <laughs> You're taking the CTA. Every day. <clears throat> Christine, glad to share Jill this with you guys. Jill doesn't know Lily. Lily is Rose's babysitter. That is exactly okay. correct. Afterlife. Rose didn't watch Af Ricky oh, after. Oh, after. Oh, that's the Ricky one. He's yeah. <laughs> I would give it a shot. Desi is very picky about like themes. That's the one where his wife died. And Desi doesn't like... Which one? There's a show on uh, Netflix called Afterlife with Ricky Gervais where his wife dies and he's got, he's got to move on with his life or something. I would give it a shot, but Desi doesn't like Afterlife. So, all right, take a look in here. As long as there are no dead children. No, probably no dead children, just dead wives. So this was the chicken thighs with the uh, enchilada sauce and the bone broth. Pressure cook for 35 minutes. We'll let it cool down just a little bit and we'll shred those. Um, really, really easy, but the pressure cooker is the key. 
And then we have our tomatillos and everything. We got a blitz back here. So let me get a cutting board here, my dear. I'm gonna chop up that pollo. Uh, yeah. 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 Make her margarita or, or what? Oh, you're leaving now? I can stay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, if you don't need it around, then there's no point of keeping her. I, she can just slam. Well, just. I know it takes her forever. Yeah, it takes, it takes her a while to get home. I took a bad bus route, and there was a creepy old man. Oh, yeah. I found a better one this morning, so I'm going to take that one. Yeah, this, try this one. Just Desi took one sip. You don't care, do you? No. We're all family. Oh, this is tender, you guys. That's all yours. So this is the chicken meat. <laughs> Look how tender that is, you guys. That's the beauty of cooking it in the pressure cooker. Super, super tender. You could do this with breast meat, but I just don't think it's as flavorful and it gets a little dry and stringy. Shaheen asks if you have jalapeno, you could add that for a little zing. I do not, but I have a roasted poblano. Americana Patriotana, $4.99, High Flav City Crew. I love watching the live streams. Where do you all get your awesome shirts, Bobby? I would love to buy them all. Bad oh, Pickle t-shirts. You can get them all on Bad Pickle t-shirt. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. And it's crazy there's no sugar in there. It doesn't taste like alcohol. Save the broth. That's when you know it's uh, dangerous. <laughs> yeah. That's when, when you don't taste the alcohol, those are the dangerous ones. Have, like, five more You're saving the broth, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. My are very dangerous. You saving the broth, Maggie? Um, so to say. Uh, yes, but I won't be able to use it for this because it's very watery. Um, I will use it for something. I just don't know what yet. Thank you, Maggie. Yeah, when those cocktails are sweet, and you just don't taste the alcohol, they're dangerous. But this is great. Yeah. All right, last time I had that was in college, I think. Okay. These so we, were, uh, Rebecca asked if the skin is on. These are skinless. We're yeah, they're skin. you don't want the skin for this because it won't get crispy. Now, let's talk about enchilada building for all those so experienced uh, amigos and amigas and abuelas out there. Here's what I'm thinking, right? Doing well. Hope you're doing I'm going to well. toss this with a little bit of enchilada sauce and some reserved liquid. But did we decide with the tortillas, I was thinking of just to spray these heavily with avocado oil, wrap them in a wet paper towel and stick them in my little mini oven to keep them warm and pliable. I don't really feel like dipping them in a whole pan of oil. Once again, will that work? Please let me know. I'm a gringo. You guys might know a lot better than me. I let saw me a bunch of people who are saying dip them in the sauce. Grandma used to do it that way. So dip them in like that sauce? I think so. I would, that'd be even easier. If I could do that, I'd love to do that. But you guys let uh, me know. I guess we can revote. So. We're going to crowdsource that. Voice your concern or your approval to the strategy. Hey, Rose, how's it? Oh, you got some chicken. You get some chicky, huh? Mm. Just the sauce. Dip them. Interesting. Okay. Is it good? Are you doing the dance? Yeah, Maggie, I don't want to warm up the uh, that oven. Yeah. <laughs> Dipping in the sauce works. All right, I like that even better. So here's what I want to do. I also, so the sauce, I guess I'll bring that back. Easy peasy, I'm all about that. Lemon squeezy. Lemon Meyer, squeezy. Meyer lemon squeezy. <laughs> Meyer lemon squeezy. So I'm gonna take some red enchilada sauce this time. By the way, these are new. Siete has enchilada sauce, right? Look at these ingredients. Everything they do is dynamite. And this just saves me time for making my own. And why not do it? They say it's abuela approved. It's also Bobby approved. <laughs> so I'll mix that up. See, so look at this art. This just looks dino. Oh my gosh, I can't even read these comments. They're flying. <laughs> They're flying because we got 2,100 people. Hey, keep it going. Este es una fiesta muy grande. <laughs> es cinco de mayo con mi amigo Artura, mi esposa. Artura. <laughs> what I call you, Artura? Yeah. <laughs> Arturo, numero tres, y mi esposa Desi, why you say, mi baby, Ros Rosita, Rosita es tu uh, nombre en español, Rosita, Rosita. All right, look how good this looks with the uh, red sauce in here. That looks grand, really grand, right? Mm -hmm. That looks great. I'll probably, you're not going to do it. Just for the heck of it, I'll add a little splash of the juice just to keep it nice and moist. 
perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. <laughs> you getting the goodbye song, Rosie? Oh, that was sweet. Aw. <laughs> Lily sings the goodbye song every time. See ya. See ya, <laughs> See ya Lily. Thank you. Have a good one. Wow, that's good. All right, we'll put this to the side and we'll get the baking dish out of here. I wonder if I need the bigger one for this one. Yeah, I need the bigger one for this one. Whew. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm all. all right. 25 Eddie, still got a little bit of this. This is fun. Y'all having a good time? Arturo is the best. Artura is really nice too, but Arturo is better. I agree. Bobby, do you have any Latin family members? Nope. I'm gringo all the way, homie. Of course you do. Who? Oh, I do. Who? Andrea. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you said Alea. I'm like, who's that? Yeah, Andrea, my brother's wife is a Colombian from Cali, right? Cali, that's where they dance, right? Yeah. The hip action. Your brother is a Latino at heart. So. <laughs> yeah. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to get a board to roll my tortillas. Bobby, on. is art Italian? Is art. I don't think art is Italian. It's 100% Finnish. Well, 100%, really? Wow. Last time I checked. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting that I'm calling I, for the three hour bowl and it is all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's really off on his ethnicities tonight. Yeah, lay off the margaritas. I don't see ethnicities or colors. We're all the same people. Can't we just drink to that? Our little horchata, margarita. My mother-in-law will warm up the tortilla, then fry, then dip in sauce. Ooh. See, see, I don't quite have the time for that, right? But I do have time for this. So, once again, you can make this with corn. I know grandma, abuela would do that. Maggie liked the hashtag Artura. <laughs> oh, you gotta make them. 50% finished. Do they make Mom's these smaller? They used to be bigger, no? They're smaller. Wow, interesting. They're smaller and darker. Something went wrong. <laughs> So we'll dip it in the sauce here, right? Then we'll put it down. We'll throw down some pollo. What's it called when you shred chicken in Mexico? And, uh, Ropa vieja. Well, <laughs> there's gotta be another name for that, right? It's not shreddo. It's not shreddo, yeah. There's gotta be a name for shredded beef, right? So shredo we'll take that. sounds like a good name for a movie, shreddo. <laughs> then we'll roll them up here. Thank you, George, appreciate it. Don't you dip it? I did, I dipped it. So if you get the oh, other, nice. the other ones from Siete, they tend to fall apart. Uh, the cashew ones don't, which is really nice. Descrebrar. Shaheen loves roses humming. She's happy. She's a very happy girl. So once again. Desebrado. Desebrado? Pollo desebrado. All right. Put that there. Did he say throw down some polio? <laughs> I don't even know what I say anymore. Tyler. Three dollars. Tyler Stay Durden. Safe, you guys. Gracias, amigo. We're staying Wish safe I in here. Stay. You don't worry about it. We're staying safe. The only negative about these tortillas, they're expensive. Rachel Murray, thirty dollars. There's my girl. Hi, Flav. There family. she is. Sorry, I'm late. Just left work. Glad I'm able to join in. Seco on, on the way. on the way. We're foregoing the seco tonight for margaritas, Rachel. We just made some amazing homemade guac uh, margaritas that are. Fantastic. So darn dynamite, right? Way better than going to a restaurant, which you can't even do now anyway, and spending $12. So I'm gonna roll these tight, like the Cubans on Seinfeld. All right, put those there. Oh, let me check that margarita. They were Dominicans. <laughs> oh, Dominicans? That's right. Oh yeah, give, look, at, look at Lily's glass. Whoa. She chugged that like a bouse. Good thing she's not driving, she's taking the bus. She's gonna be a loopy. Lupe fiasco. All right, a little more chicken in there. Then I'll top these with sauce and some uh, cheese. I'm gonna use plant-based cheese to keep it dairy-free. Rachel Murray wants you to pour her one. I got. I should make another one, but I probably shouldn't because they're dangerous. They're dangerous, Rachel. They're so tasty. So Rachel, in case you missed it, we made sugar-free margaritas. We made a simple syrup with golden monk fruit and water. We combined it with really good reposado, I'm sorry, really good añejo tequila, lime juice, Meyer lemon juice, uh, a little bit of coconut milk and uh, cinnamon. It was a horchata. That's the horchata one. Show arts. Horchata, not horchata. Uh, or, 
Not a whore, an or? Okay. Horchada. I actually like homemade horchada, but with uh... almond milk and coconut. Yeah, no uh, dairy milk. Okay, we're doing good. I might need that second pack of uh, tortillas. Can you grab them for me, babe? Where is it? The lower uh, part of the frigidore. All right. Good. Doesn't that sound great, Rachel? Sounds really, really good. Gracias, Arturo. I just need one more, I think. Let me just taste this out. Mmm. Tastes sabor, sabor. I can't open it. My hands are all schmutzy. Close up on Rose in the meantime, as requested by yeah, Burrell. Look at the schmutz. Speaking of schmutz, Rose, schmutz you say hi to everyone? Hi. Hi, hi familia. Hi, Como esta familia? Hola. Huh? Hola. Hola, Rosie. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. <laughs> oh, you're the cutest. You are the cutest, Rose. We love you so much. Hi, Rose. Yeah, the enchiladas are mild, Beth. We don't like very spicy food. Are you watching Seinfeld a lot? He did a show, Cars and... Yes, I've seen uh, comedians in cars getting coffee. That was a great show. Thank you for asking. Don't you want to fill up the whole thing or you don't have any more? Food? If I have enough, I only have enough oh, to yeah. play one more here. Maybe you should want to, you want to change the... The pan? The pan, babe. Get another one dirty? Yeah, All right, get the other one out. If you think it's going to fit. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be... If it doesn't fit, then you must have quit. Hay muchos platos sucios, amigo. Yo necesito trabajar. Oh, abuela. Trabajar mucho. Get, uh, magic pen crepery with those skills, Bobby. <laughs> I should, right? Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum. <laughs> hey, cutes. So one of the blue ones, you think, instead? Yeah, blue. Like, uh, Little boy blue? Same as the, the other dishes. Okay. Dark blue. Okay. I got to put down a little sauce on the base, which I forgot. So this is a good... Oh, perfect. I have a little bit of this salsa verde sauce here I'm just going to use. We got to make our own salsa verde in a second. So, here's what I want to do. Put down a little bit of sauce on the bottom so it doesn't Bobby, get when are you stick. going to let Desi cut your hair? I don't think Desi wants to cut my hair, He's to be honest. He's asking me, but... I don't think Desi... No, 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 this way. Yeah. Are they going to fit this way? Yeah, of course. Okay. Let's do a, a tag team here. Tag team. Back again. I don't know. I think you... Messed me up. Make that tighter. No, it's, be it's better to Make be tight. Make this one tighter. It's better to be tight than loose, baby. They're going to fall apart otherwise. That's what she said. <laughs> That's mm. what he said. This chicken. <laughs> there we go. See? Oh, this meal. Oh, yeah. Pour this green sauce all over the top. What is the purpose well, not of a ton dipping of the tortillas? Of what? What's the purpose of dipping the tortillas? Because Abuela told me to. That's why. <laughs> Otherwise, they're not pliable. All right, so that's enough, I think. What do you guys think? More sauce or less? Real-time polling here we need. A little more right here, maybe. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Is that more, Rose? Rose says We more. are at 2.2K. Wow, what a great day, you guys. A million subscribers. Check that out, Art. That was Check good. Check it out. More, more. Wow, everyone says more. Wow. More, babe. Because it's really going to bake into the oh, tortilla. Yeah, it's very more. spicy, though, babe, so. No, it's not. The green one? Let me see. Yeah. I'll be the judge of spice. Not. Nah, uh, <laughs> if you want to add jus. No, the jus is too loose. I think we should add more, I'm telling you. All right, that's fine. Now we'll take the cheese and put it on top. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah, and you need more uh, juice, I'm sure, but maybe just a little. A little shot of juice around the corner, maybe? A shot of juice, maybe. You like it, the juice. Well, actually, if you remember in the mac and cheese, we had an extra juice thinking it would yeah. soak it up. Soak it up, soak it up. Yes, Rose. See, Rose is like, Daddy, you're doing it. All right. That looks so good to me. Do we have regular cheese or do you just... No, just a vegan cheese tonight. Oh, I want to do... Hey, what are you doing with these things? Oh, that's I'm going right. to roast that separately. We got We still got cooking to do, y'all. You, you, ain't, you ain't going nowhere, are you, right? We got to make the... three-hour stream. But there's no bolognese. You sound like Larry David with a high-pitched voice. <laughs> no. no <laughs> Who? Bobby does or me? Question. Do I bake this uncovered, covered? Do I broil it? What do I do? 
I've actually never done this before. Uh, so you guys let me know real quick. I'm thinking uncovered. Y'all let me know. I'm looking here real time. Yeah, it's fun today, right? Good stuff. We're having a fun time. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> uncovered, covered. Cover it up or it'll dry out. Ah, bake it covered, cover uncover first. and then broil. Cover first, cover first, uncover. I like the idea of covering it. Yeah, let's cover it first and then broil it at the end. This is pretty much the only time I use the aluminum foil. Covered for the first 30 and then uncovered the last 15 as well. Oh, I'm not going to bake it for 45 minutes. No, excuse me. I'll probably do 20 minutes. I don't have time for that. I'm going to crank up the oven. Remember we, we baked the uh, mac and cheese casserole for 20 minutes the other day and broiled it. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'll put it on a sheet tray just in case. It overflows, which I can't imagine it's going to. But here, I have it on 400. I might kick it up just a little more, another notch. Okay. And this gives us enough time to make the guaca salsa. Set it's like lasagna. Time. If you uncover it, it will melt the cheese too fast. Yeah. Well, this cheese is vegan, so it actually, it won't melt quite as good as regular, but I, you know, I tried eating regular cheese this weekend for a pizza. We made a, a Capello's crust pizza with the best cheese you can buy. Organic, raw, grass-fed, organic Valley cheddar. I was farting afterwards like nobody's business. My sinus has got a little mucusy. I just can't eat cheese. I just hey, can't do Americana it. Americana says spray the foil. The cheese bubbles and sticks. That, that won't bubble. and There's plenty of room between the top. The vegan cheese won't bubble. Don't worry. But thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Are you using convection or regular? I'm using regular for this. I think it's okay because it's covered. What would Stang Man say? What would Stang Man say? True. All right, you guys. Let's do a little cleanup before we move on. This segment of Law Stream is brought to you by Dyson. For all your messy cleanups in life, Dyson has your back. Did somebody call my name? <laughs> okay. Kit Kat, no, it's not part of Bobby's merch. Go to Google Bad Pickle T-shirts. You can yes. find many in the Bobby Parish. South Korea is in the house, guys. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Hey, Rose, where are you watching from? Home? CB House is on a lot of these. I've noticed. No, well, you're regular. Why don't you tell what Rose is having, babe? Talking Rose to Bobby's. She's having a chicken soup with some carrots, um, celery, onions, and kale. Dang, that's a heck of a soup, man. Wow. Good for you, Rosa. Now we gotta blend up all this stuff in a minute. I feel my feel salsa. That never loses suction. <laughs> Somebody won my Dyson impersonation. I always ask for it. That golden rice, you guys, is the bomb diggity. Mmm. Let's get rid of all Good this stuff. Good morning from Sydney, Australia. Nice, I love Australia. That, it feels like for I was there exactly a year ago. Had such a good time in Melbourne and Sydney. Went to uh, the farmlands in uh, Victoria. Had such a great time there. It was really, really Skip lovely. Skip Smith says, Bobby, we need to meet your brother. <laughs> you, you would like my brother a lot, actually. Oh, Kathy Davis, $1.99. Thanks for all the good information. Kathy, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. You guys are so supportive. Shaheen's got to go. Enjoy your meal. We'll catch the rest later. Congratulations. All right, Shaheen. Again, so proud of you guys. Slave City Fam is growing. Love you guys. Stay safe. And hashtag keep on cooking. Good night, So Shaheen. sweet. Thank, Thank you, Shaheen. Or good, good night. Morning or, yeah, goodbye, whatever. Stay well. Ah. Kathy Davis, $1.99 again. Thanks for all the good information. You're so sweet, Kathy. Thank you. You guys are so supportive. Unbelievable. We've never asked or like talked about Super Chat, but you guys just do it. It's such a great way to support the channel. But we are so appreciative of that. You guys keep buying the cookbook, which is really nice. If you haven't checked it out, just search Flav City on Amazon, or you can use my Amazon link down below. How's Johnny P doing? People are asking. He's good. I saw him uh, this weekend. I dropped off some stuff for him. He's doing all good in the hood. Thank you for asking. And we're doing good over here. We're crushing life. Right? So what should we make on Thursday for the live stream to celebrate a million? Right? Should we do a really opulent, over-the-top meal? Bolognese. <laughs> Nothing says opulence like a three-hour bolognese. Or you can have bolognese or flat iron steak. Ooh. Bolognese, flat iron steak, and cheddar bay biscuits all together at last. Wow. Wow. How about that? Ooh, steak. I do have some really nice filet mignons, too. 
I would make that huge uh, ribeye, the, t the, uh, the tomahawk, the tomahawk, but I don't want to do it inside. We got to wait for that uh, that mesh network to be set up to do it outside. So I'm um, saying I'm right. We got to go with all those. <laughs> Yeah, the chia pudding is great from the cookbook. It was really funny, in case you didn't say earlier, uh, I talked about the fact that we did a uh, jam and jelly review. And it's really hard to find good quality jelly at the store because it's got to be organic because berries are dirty dozen. But it can't be high in sugar. And almost all jellies and jams have gratuitous amounts of sugar. And the cheap ones use corn syrup and nasty stuff. So I did find a few ones. One of the best is Crofters. No sugar added. They just use fruit juice concentrate. One of the worst ever, I just had to show it, was Goobers. There's... 19 grams of added sugar here. It's like fructose corn syrup and nasty stuff mixed with peanuts and palm oil. It was the sweetest thing. The sugar was crunching in my teeth. Huh. Oh, you have a shout out here to Jennifer Drew watching from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Nice. This is Rosita. I've been to Thunder Bay a number of times, eating at uh, Hoito restaurant. Hopefully you've been there too. I'm sure you have. Life as a kid, a $2 super chat. Where should I get the cookbook, Amazon or Barnes and Nobles? Barnes and Nobles, Hasn't been good to us. Stick with Amazon because the Amazon reviews and algorithm are very important. If you live in the US, show this art. Right below the video, I have my Amazon link. That just helps me get a little commission here. You click on this link right below the video and it takes you to the Amazon page. The book came out exactly 12 months ago. Oh, we lost the bestseller status. Oh, that must've gone away today. We were a bestseller there. Oh, we're number two now in food allergies. Oh, that's funny. Um, but right there, if you live outside of the US, just search Flav City. Down there, I have the link for the recipe for the golden cauliflower rice. Look how beautiful that is. And I have all the ingredients I used tonight, too. So, yeah. Mike Berghorst, $20 super chat. Whoa. Wow. Love your videos. Thank you so much. Have you done any book signings? No, Deborah. We don't do too many of those. I, um, we've done a few meetups here and there. You had a book signing, though, last year. Yeah, last year when the book came out, we did a big one here <clears throat> in Chicago. Okay, now... I'm gonna make the uh, tomatillo salsa, right? So this happened very early on, but in case you missed it, we roasted, check this out, tomatillos, which are a member of the gooseberry family, with onions and a poblano pepper. Now the poblano, after it was roasted, we put it in a bag here, and the skin has now separated, look at that, from the flesh. You gotta keep them separate. Now here's my question to all my uh, Hispanics watching. Do you want to wash this under cold water? Because I would think that would remove some of the flavor, but I've seen Rick Bayless all the time put this under cold water and it helps the skin remove. But I would just think that's probably not the best idea. But you guys tell me, what do you think? I know you do want to get the seeds out of here, but cold water just seems weird, right? What do you think? I think it's, you're going to get rid of the flavor. Yeah, never wash, never wash, no. Yeah, wow. No, don't do it. Yeah, I don't know why Rick Bayless does that. Listen, I've done it before in a pinch when I'm in a hurry, but it just seems weird. You're, you're washing all the sabor down the drain, right? Why would you want to do that? Now, very, very easy, right? I'm just going to take all of this, including the juice. We always talk about your lack of the juice. I like it. This is the juice you want. Look at this, Art. That's the juice from the tomatillo, from the onion, from the poblano. I don't want that one burnt part there because I forgot about it in the broiler but I want all that other stuff to go in there, <laughs> right? That all goes in there. People like that offspring reference in there. <laughs> put that in the sink here. Cinco, put it in the Cinco de Mayo. Hey, you. My ancestors cringe at anyone who washes them. Interesting, I'm gonna stop doing that. A little bit of salt. Can I do that? Hey, you. Cute stuff, McGee. No a little garlic? bit of pepper. No garlic. Say again? Somebody said no garlic. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put garlic in there too. I don't want to put raw garlic in there. So I forgot that one. But never add lime juice because tomatillos are very acidic. Doubling up on the acid is a bad, bad move. But I do want to add a nice handful of cilantro fresco in there. And that's it. And I'll take some of that and I'll mix it into my guacamole for a guac uh, salsa. And I'll take the rest. Maybe I'll open up my uh, enchiladas and pour it on there, or should I save it as a dipping sauce? What do you think? Because we have, do we, do we use all of that uh, enchilada sauce from? Uh... No. Oh, we still have some of that. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna use my Thermomix, which I'm still waiting on the approval for the giveaway, but I think we're gonna give away end of this week or next week on Instagram. But I'm just gonna blend this up. Hey 
Cutie? Taco Tuesday. Yeah, I was thinking about making tacos, but I want to go above and beyond. I want to go to infinity and beyond, ideally. All right? Look at that. Come on. Rick Bayless, say what? That's beautiful. Look, you can see the charred speckles of uh, skin in there. Yeah, somebody said, why take all the time to make that flavor to wash it down the drain? That's a really good point. I gotta, next time I see Rick Bayless, I have two questions for him. Number one, how do you get the double roast on your uh, salsa at the store? And why do you wash it? Let's see here. Amber's friend made your tater tot casserole. And oh, how, nice. How, I'd love to hear that. That's really good. Dang. I feel like it needs something. What do you think, Dusty? Try this. He'll probably say, first I roast the poblano, then I wash it, then I roast it. <laughs> what do you think that needs? Mm. It's really Bobby good. Bobby needs huh? to dance again. <laughs> it's, it's great. A little something sweet. Well, I think it needs a touch of sweetness, right? Just yeah, about. I'm, you know, I'm just going to take my. Tea, you know? I'm going to take my monk fruit sweetener. Oh, and just, oh. just a splash. Oh, it's Rebecca's birthday on Thursday. Let's make some steaks. Ooh, st I think steak could be the call. Well, I'm thinking the steak is so messy though. It's like, and I don't want to uh, make a huge mess in here. Let me think about it. Was that a uh, T-bone or a porterhouse there, Alan Girl? Can't tell from that emoji. And then it's Mother's Day on Sunday. That's right. The first one. The first one. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put the tomatillo salsa aquí. Look at that art. Come on. That's, that's beautiful. Some beautiful wow. thing, right? I thought you were doing uh, guacamole with that. I am going to fold some in my guacamole, too. Ah, nice, babe. So imagine folding some of that into my guacamole, which I'm just going to make now. And by the way, in case you missed it, look at those red onions. Those have been pickled now for over an hour. Mm hmm Rosa. I'm just going to clean this while it's fresh, you guys, so I don't have <clears throat> too big of a cleanup later on. Hope you don't mind. Libra, which bowl are you talking about? The onion bowl? That's from Mexico. One. Yeah, it's the one from Telum. We have a whole set from there. Oh, it's Wagyu. Okay. Wagyu. Wagyu. Ooh, Wagyu. Nice. I can go for another one of the margaritas, to be honest. I should cat myself at one, though. Bobby, why do you always use red onions and not uh, cooking yellow onions? You know, I just love red onions. I think they're a little sweeter. And especially for like a, this kind of recipe, I think they're the call. Try to clean a little bit as we cook here, right, folks? Jill says filet mignon. What did Jill, you say? Do you want uh, spicy sauce over it, or would you want the steak just plain? The cleanup's Rachel not going to be Murray, too... $20, just made it home and made a margarita on the rocks with salt. Cheers. Now we're talking. Listen, I love the keto wine, Rachel, but margarita's where it's at today, right? And thank you. Mar Rachel's such a great supporter from San Quentin, California. She works at the jail, and she's so supportive. And see, I feel like I know so many of you guys, and I really consider you not just fans, but community members, but family. This is really a family kind of thing. Right, Rose? I um, and hey, finally we're having a good connection, Art. No uh, buffering yeah, or anything today? Like that. How about that? Somebody the, said, Sharon says, take off the foil. Uh, it hasn't been 20 minutes yet. Okay. Joseph Finley, $4.99, happy $1 million. How about Beef Wellington? Oh, that's, oh, that's too much work, Joseph. Now, Bob Joseph knows you. what he's talking about. <laughs> there we go. How about Add that to the list of the... Flat iron and <laughs> and the cheddar bake. How about Tuntis makes that for Art? And he'll come down to Ohio. There we go. <laughs> okay. Keto beef function. That's a tough one because there is no such thing as keto uh, puff pastry. That would be... Invented. Yeah, that'd be very challenging. That would be Desi's department. And I don't think she wants to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. Keto beef Wellington. <laughs> keto like, puff pastry. How are you going to make keto puff pastry? You'll invent it. Where there's a will, there's a way, Desi. I, I have confidence that you will invent it. <laughs> I got almost flour nice to work with. I don't, I don't think it's that. Americana Patriotana, $4.99. Virtual squeeze for sweet rose. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for that. So, so Gordon supportive. Gordon Ramsay's Wellington. I think I've seen that one, Alan Girl. Okay. The ginger. Huh? Oh, the ginger. That's a spicy flavor. That's a spicy flavor. So let's uh, just mix up the uh, 
guacamole. Now here's the deal, I always buy my avocados from Whole Foods, and yeah, they're a little more expensive than say buying them at Aldi, but I do find they're consistently the best avocados ever. What do I mean? I mean, they're never brown and nasty inside. They're never watery. Sometimes they look good, but they're watery. I just know this is gonna be perfect. Look at this, All right? That's perfection, Rose. So I don't mind paying a little premium if I know it's gonna be great because nothing bothers me more than cutting into an aguacate and it's brown and nasty. All right, look at this. This is what we use, girl. This is just beautiful, right? Actually, this one has a little mark there, but I guarantee it tastes good. And Art has showed me horrific stuff on Instagram, and I've heard from fans who work in ERs. They say the number one culinary-related accident is from taking the seed out of the avocado. So be very, very careful, right? Hold it like this or put it down like that. Use the butt of your knife, not the tip. You have the most control with your butt. Big butts do not lie, right? And then in, hold, twist. I thought how, tips don't lie. How do I get it out? Do I grab it like this? Don't no, do that's, don't do that. Don't do that. Pinch, right? Pinch it like that. And oh, I probably, I should save it because that whole uh, pit not making the uh, guacamole turn brown and nasty. Now, what makes this guacamole, I think, a little special is oh. the fact that we're gonna use that guaca salsa and some of that uh, pickled lime juice. Doug Ferguson on the Beef Wellington, Keto Beef Wellington, used bacon instead of puff pastry. Oh, dude, that's a great idea. I really like that idea. Wow. Hey, you rose honey bird. So put the... Is there a aguacate. recipe for keto flan? Um, well, yeah, that'd be easy. You would just use a uh, monk fruit sweetener instead of the uh, sugar. Desi's working on a, uh, a paleo flan recipe with coconut right now. We're okay. 2.3 watching right now. Very exciting. You guys, our previous record was 1,800 and change, right, Art? What you say that again? 1,800 and change was the previous record? Something like that. Very yeah. exciting. So a little bit of salt. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just because I love that fruitiness and the extra fat there. What's going on, Rose? Oh, there's your tunnel. She's afraid of the tunnel, huh? Uh, and then we'll take our pickled red onions. Now, a lot more people are here now. I told the story earlier that when Desi and I went to Mexico City four years ago, we went to a great restaurant. Uh, but she's scared of it, move it away. No, no, she's, oh, just leave it. Let me move it out of the way. This tunnel scares her. There, get rid of this thing, Rose. You don't have to see that. This is horrible. We want her to go through this tunnel here, right? But she gets scared of it and she starts crying. I'm gonna put it away, Rose, don't worry. It's going away. Ooh. So we went to this restaurant. Ouch, Samantha. And uh, it was called La Gruta in uh, Teotihuacan. And it was fantastic. And I don't know how to close this. We, uh, he told us to pickle the red onions in the lime juice, and that takes away the raw flavor, and that's really all the acid you need instead of putting the lime juice directly. If you squeeze the lime juice directly in here, it's a very acidic, powerful flavor. It overpowers the fruit of the avocado. So we'll put some of that in there. Then I like it chunky. Art's on Team Chunky too, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll just mash it a little bit. Guacamole is another thing I just never order at restaurants because I'm not going to pay $10 for a one avocado guacamole. I find that highly, highly insulting. Right? Anyone can make this at home. Right? Then I'll take some of the guaca salsa. I'll take some of the tomatillo salsa. Fold that in. Right? And it becomes a very, very special. A little bit of uh, cilantro too becomes a very special guacamole. Hashtag Team Chunk. Team Chunk. Just like uh, from Goonies. I love chunk. Sloth. Sloth Speaking loves chunk. Speaking of tunnel, there's a good show called The Tunnel on Prime. It's the UK and France. Oh, really? Is it like Chunnel on Seinfeld? <laughs> Guys, look at that. Woo! That looks money, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Just check it for seasoning. That's special. All right, try this. This is special. 
guacamole. Dang, son. Mm. That's good. Let's do a proper. Let's do a proper. I do have leftover from the snack hey, hall here. There is another great idea for Thursday, though. Tell me. Turducken. <laughs> is that an idea by you? No, that was, uh, well, I mentioned that recently. You rest Becca Walsh, Nashville, Tennessee, says turducken. Let's do a proper. Remember that Very Aldi nice. hall? We still Very have nice the organic like. yellow corn tortillas de Aldi. Oh, my God. Don't double chip that chip. Wow. Hey, pow, so. Mm -hmm. That oh, is wow. great. Oh, my God. The flavor of the roasted tomatillos with the subtle, creamy flavor of the avocados. Oh, Dios mio! That is phenomenal. I need one more little bite of that. That is, that's, you gotta try this. This is, I'm gonna bring you a chip. It actually is crazy. I'll be right back. Peace, I like it, the chips. Try this, Desi. All right, some folks wanted to see, oh, I gotta switch hands here. All right. <laughs> I figured I'd say hi. Yeah. Some folks wanted to see me. Um, this is really good. I'm gonna go in for a second. Mm. Talking to the microphone, so I see them here. Wow. Wish you could have some. So good, Ben. Yeah. Thank you. Like this. Tomatillos. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little sour. Very creamy. Making me hungry, yeah. Cilantro. So Hello, respect. everybody. <laughs> Very watching these comments while I'm here. These are the Aldi Simply Nature variety. Just so you know, I fed Desi that chip while she's holding that uh, Rose on the potty. That was very, very funny. So she was eating and crunching while Rose was on the potty. Nice. Very, very cool, right? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> all right, all right, finish. come back come back yonder. Let's see what's going on here. It's been 20 minutos. <clears throat> okay, so the vegan cheese, this is hard to melt. It's gonna be the broiler. We're getting a little bubblage here. I think we gotta go a little longer, what do you think? Sure. Let's go a little longer, then I'll start broiling it. Now, obviously, if you use real cheese, it would melt better. I just can't do it. My stomach can't take it, you guys. I'm going to pump up the heat just a little more. Adrian in Germany says that we have way cooler products at Aldi than they do. Uh, we, I, I heard that so many times that our Aldi, even though you guys have the uh, headquarters of Aldi in Germany, we have better ones. Tammy Gardner, $20. Thanks for all the wisdom I've gained for leaping into a new lifestyle. The Lord led me to you guys. Wow. One other cook to follow on this journey. God, continue to bless you all. Well, Amazing. You, God bless you too. Yeah, it's so sweet. Thank you, Tammy. Mm. I wish Annette, you... Annette says I wouldn't cover it. It needs a surface heat. But it's going to dry out, won't it? I don't know. Hmm. And uh, Leslie Jaffa just joined from Jakarta. It's 5.45 a.m. Are you wow. going to share the guacamole recipe? Flav City guacamole. It's on my blog. Um, so, to all my abuelas, abuelos, uh, amigos, amigas out there, should I keep it covered another 10 minutes? Should I take it off? Should I kick the broiler on? What should I do? Right? Aurora says if I take it off, it's going to dry out. We hit one million this morning, actually. Covered, says Jillian. Uncovered, listen to Stangman. Uncover. Oh, now. Stangman says uncover in his opinion. Broil it. Take it off. Take it off. Wow, okay. Take it off, but bake it or take it off, then broil it. What do you say? Uncover. Wow, a lot of stuff. Uncover. Well, it's definitely not done. I don't think so, Submarine Chef. Kick so uncover and then I'm going to take it off. All right. So, take it off. I'll let Somebody it go. Somebody said to take the, turn the broiler on, too. But should I keep baking it now and then broil it or go straight to broil now? What do you guys think? And vote. Vote. I wish we could actually put poles in here. That'd be nice. Broil, broil, broil bake. What do you say, Stang, man? Yeah, Un is my chip crunching annoying? <laughs> I don't think so. Right. Bro I don't say broil now. Bro like All right. Everyone says broil now. Okay, we're going to broil. I don't want to broil too hot. To handle too cold to hold. I'll go medium-ish broil and we'll set it for five minutes. All right, I'm excited. Let's transfer our guacamole to our really nice. Okay, Lyra has to go. She has to feed the wolves. All right, Lyra. Los Lobos. <laughs> Los Lobos. Los Lobos. Kick our butts. <laughs> and I'm going to keep this on the side. I was Los Locos in that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. The Crazies. That was the name of the gang. I'm going to keep this Preserved with the old pit trick, right? Nestle that down there. Isn't that authentic? Oh, you see that? You're like, wow. 
an abuela made that with love. And you're like, no, a gringo named Bobby made that. Right? But it's so tasty. What's going on, Patricia J? Hey, we got 2,450 people. Nice. Are you having a good time? Hit that thumbs up if you're having a good time, right? We're setting records today. We've never had this many people on there. Um, we made the enchiladas, they're almost done. We made the sugar-free margars. We made the golden cauliflower rice. We made the tomatillo guacamole. Rocking and rolling, this is what we do, you guys. Love it. Today, Art and I filmed a video about the best jams and jellies to get at the store. Who is here? Look at this, Art. Hey, Rose Honey Bunny. Hey, Rose Honey Bunny. Are you pushing on your knees now? <laughs> huh? Did you take a nice pee pee or no? No, that's all right. No worries. Oh, crushing. Are we done? Uh, we're just broiling now. We're almost done. I'm going to warm up the uh, cauliflower rice. So set your schedules. We'll do another live stream on Thursday at 4 and Friday at 4. And I think, to be honest, even after the quarantine's over, we'll keep going on a, probably a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Friday schedule. Either way, we'll keep up three a week. I'm having such a good time. And to be honest, I much prefer this than making cooking videos. The cooking videos we make, not as fun as this. And the live streams actually get better views. So I'd rather keep doing live streams. It's way more fun. Can you give a shout out to my mom, Jean, in Tennessee? She loves watching you every day. Big supporter. Keep it up. Hey, mean Alex. Jean and the Tennessee Bourbon Trail. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I appreciate it. We have such a supportive community. When I see the growth. So here's the funny thing about the channel. The last, like from November to February, huge growth. In the month of January, we got 90 some odd thousand subscribers. Rocking and rolling. Then the quarantine hit with COVID. And I'm like, oh, everyone's going to be home. They'll, they'll watch more content. Be home. The opposite. Our viewership literally went in half. The traffic to my blog for recipes went in half. Why? Because we're healthy focused. No one wanted to eat healthy in the quarantine. They wanted to bake and make pizza and maybe do workout channels. I don't know. So all of our stuff went down. We should have hit a million last month, but everything went down. Our revenue went down. It's going back up now. And I just want things to get back to normal so people care more about healthy stuff. But it's so funny how that backfired. But we were going like this and literally you go to the chart, it goes like this. It was crazy. A little scary too, but crazy, right? Yeah, Tara wants healthy 24 seven, right? Yeah, I agree. Super bad immune system is really bad for health. Totally. Thank you so much, Angelica. Ah, we don't want sugar and inflammation. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, cute stuff. Yeah, Stangman's saying you can dry the avocado pit, grind it, and eat it, or something like that. Yeah, I think I've heard that too. Ah, it's a little much for me. Hey, Rose Honey Bunny. Hey. Hey, you cute stuff. Yeah, we got to figure out what we're going to make Rose for Mommy for uh, Sunday. We got Judy watching from Anchorage, Alaska for the first time. Welcome. Love to hear that. So we're pretty much ready here. Let's see what's going on in the broiler here. Kentucky is the bourbon trail, not Tennessee. Oh, yeah, my bad. Ooh, all right, check it out. Things are getting bubbly. Things are getting bubbly. That's what's the call. Staying man never lets me down. First, you talk to the baking powder on the wings. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Another minute or so? Or are we done? Will it turn more golden? Uh, not the vegan, uh, oh, the no. vegan cheese one. This is getting nice and crusty here. What do you guys think? Another minute or so? I love crowdsourcing, so you can't do that in a taped video. So let's see. Uh, two more minutes, this thing, man. A little more, says Maggie B. I'm going to set two minutes on the clock right here. Let's see. If I had a Mexican restaurant, what would I call it? What would you call your Mexican restaurant, Art? Oh, I haven't thought about that. I don't know. Hmm. I can't handle these deep questions when I'm trying to watch comments. Ah, try to keep you in frame. Deep thoughts with art? Deep thoughts by Jack Handy. Let me get my garnish station ready. I don't know if I had a steakhouse, think... it would be called the fattened calf. <laughs> What's so funny, Rosie? Oh, home stretch here, y'all. How long have we been going for, Art? Uh, an hour, or 109 minutes. 109 minutes? It feels like longer. Minutes. Wow. Well, that's what, an hour and 39 minutes. To be honest, to make all this food and talk and have a good time in an hour 
in 39 minutes is not too bad, you guys. How long is the ingredient list on the vegan cheese? Let's find out. It's not as long as others, but unfortunately, they do have vegan natural yeah, flavors. Where the but that is true for all vegan cheeses. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Pelon says, my Mexican restaurant should be called Uncle Farturo. Oh, I do like that. Tio, no, Tio Farturos. Look at this beautiful place, you guys. Aren't those gorgeous? Got the nice texture on there. Really, really nice. <clears throat> Call it Fuego. <laughs> Pelon, what's Pelon mean? Pelon, isn't Pelon like the, uh, the sugar kind of like uh, stick? Piloncillo? Piloncillo, I'm thinking, maybe. Call it Abuela says so. <laughs> Roxy and Steven, Colorado. Check after a minute. <laughs> What's wrong with sink? <laughs> I guess nothing's wrong with it. Mexican, Mexiquito, huh? <clears throat> oh, Patty, my filter is from a small uh, store in uh, LA called Alkalogic, and only they sell the one I have. Ooh, Vanessa Trujillo. Vanessa, look at that. Looks like a lemon. A marching band lemon, four ninety nine. Nice. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Pelon means bald. Means what? Pelon means bald. Oh, it does. Okay, good to know. All right. Ooh, just in time. Check it out. Good thing I didn't walk too far away. Oh. Hot stuff there. coming through. Here we go. In bald, $2, 2,500 people watching. Wow, wow, wow. In bald, you're the man. Thank you. Right? That looks pretty darn good, you guys. Pretty darn good. And because I'm using the vegan cheese, it has that color. If I had real cheese, it would be uh, even more melty. I just can't, my stomach can't handle it, unfortunately. Ha! Ah, Eileen says no commercials during live. That's right. What'd you say? No commercials during live. I have to put those commercials, because that's actually a very big source of revenue. So when I make like a 15 minute video and I put two commercials in there, that really helps the revenue get up. And that's how uh, this channel stays afloat. That and the sponsors, right? Uh, filter name, go to Alkalogic, to Venice Beach Alkalogic. I believe they changed their name to Better Water Co., but it's a filter system with alkaline. It's $1,000, which is not a bad deal um, for what the quality of what, uh, what it is. Okay, once again, golden cauliflower rice. Check this out, Art. It's coconut milk, turmeric, cashews, coconut flakes. It's everything you want to eat and more. All right. So we'll put that down. That reminds me of uh, v Visa's old slogan, it's everywhere you want to be. I do remember that one. It's Art. everything you want to eat. <laughs> All right, let's see how I can get these enchiladas out here without burning anything. I don't know, Visa still has a slogan. They got to have something, right? Let it cool off a minute, Stangman says. Yeah, I don't really have a minute, but hmm. Let me see if I can just get it up, though. Something you never want to hear a guy say. Amira Moncayo, happy five days. Oh, Amira, thank you. Nice to hear you. Let's see if I can get this. This is going to be tricky, actually. Hmm. It's tricky. tricky if I get tricky, this up without. Carrie Moore, three dollars, happy million. You have changed my boyfriend and I's life. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for thank that. You, right now, I'm trying to make sure I don't change the shape of this. Uh, Yo quiero taco bell. Enchilada. Let's see here. I need another uh, spatula. I definitely want to let this cool down a little bit. I just don't have time for that. There we go. So take Make that. Time for that. <laughs> there we go. All right. Put that down there. Whew. Hot. Look, look at the cross section of this. All right. Come over here. Look at that. That's gorgeous, right? It's for you, Maggie. That's gorgeous. Woo! Look at the sauce. It almost got like creamy. That's from the starch from the uh, cashew flour, right? That's lovely. Okay, let me uh, move that hot thing away from Art. We don't want Tio Fartura to get a no! fuego on his arm. After the get up comment, I hear Ed McMahon's inner voice Hey, yo. I don't think I ever heard Ed McMahon say, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yeah, I think so. Toonses. Oh, hey, okay. Happy Cinco de Mayo and congrats. Thank you for that, nice. Toonses. Now, here's what I want to garnish with, right? You are correct, sir. <laughs> this is a pretty, pretty plate, you guys. 
Daniel M, this is an iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max. Check this out, RDO. We'll take a little bit of that pickled red onion, right? We'll take a nice scoopy of our guacamole. Put that right there. And then just to make sure it's extra saucy, we'll take a little bit of that tomatillo salsa. Oh, you guys, come on. We just crushed paleo nearly keto enchiladas with vegan cheese, roasted tomatillo salsa, tomatillo guaca salsa, Rosella and Roberts. golden cauliflower. Rosella! $9.99. Wow, Jesse, come over here and try this with Rosita. I mean, guys, this is, I've never made enchiladas this way. I already know they're gonna be good. And the key is the fact that we use the tortillas, the cashew siete, because they have to hold up. If you get a paleo tortilla that's too soggy, it's going to completely, completely break apart. And this really held up lovely. So I'm going to try, I'm going to get three forks out here. I, I mean, I, I just got to try a bite of this. because I, I think I know what it's going to taste like, but look at that art. That thing's steaming. Steaming. We're all about the steam here, right? Look at that. Oh, I mean, wow. And by the way, I posted on Community yesterday. It was it Sunday? What should we make? And the votes were overwhelming for enchiladas. And uh, actually, I talked about how I want to make that vegan mac and cheese recipe into a cookbook. I want to do the same thing for enchiladas if it works, which I think it did. But there is a trick to it. There's a limitation for this new book, which I'll tell you about next week. Uh, that's going to make it challenging, but very interesting. And, uh, you'll like it. Hey, Rose, honey bunny. Let's try this. It's going to be really hot though. Oh, wow. This looks amazing, babe. Jill Chopsky, $10. Nailed Happy it. million. Jill, you thank are you. Amazing. You oh are amazing. Oh my God. Amazing. So, all right, come in here. All right, we'll get a bite from that side. Okay. You get a bite from this side. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm not saying anything. I want them to give their own opinions here. Wow, looks amazing, man. Looks Bob.com, right? Wow. Shaking McGee on the uh, camera here. Nice. Hi, Rose. Holy cow. Hi, Rose, honey bunny. This looks unbelievable. I feel like I'm going to like scald my mouth. I'm going to blow out of it very well. Americana licking the screen. Mm -hmm. OMG, smell of vision coming soon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Enchilada, que paso? Tell us in Spanish. So Describe the flavors in Spanish. Mas. El sabor es muy auténtico. Es muy riquísimo. Todo está muy riquísimo. El carne está muy suave. Muy, muy uh, tierno. Muy tierno. I'm saying that the chicken is very tender. And the uh, mm, salsa is muy cremosa. Mm. Mm, puedo puedo um, saber todos los... Um, I'm tasting all the flavors. Todos los... Um, um, I should like part the uh, cilantro <laughs> in our hand. Uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss for <laughs> Erica H with a monster 1999 super chat. You're amazing. No, you are Erica. Arturo. Es, es, estoy pensando en los chiles. Los chiles. Uh, los chiles son donde está. <laughs> donde lo está. I understand that perfectly. <laughs> I understand that perfectly. I mean, just the plate itself, you guys. I mean, if you mm. get that at a restaurant, wow. which, first of all, no restaurant in the history of the universe, serve stuff like this. No one's oh, gonna good. serve paleo, semi-keto, enchiladas and rice, but ooh. That was good. There's a good texture element to it too, though. Right. The way oh. the, the chicken is tender, mm -hmm. and uh, then the, uh, cilantro, but... and how it's blended with the... Um... And the shell, and then, but then all the sauce and the chilies are just coming together, it's... Yeah. It's yeah, a good combination. The, the tortilla is very soft, it's kind of blending with the chicken. Yeah. We have this really delicious sauce. Yeah. 
Now, if you could handle so dairy, good. real cheese on she top of that, so much flavor. Real, ch real cheese with uh, like uh, sour cream would be gangbusters. El perfil es muy complicado, complicado. Ah, sí, ah, sí o no. El wow. perfil de Oh, wow, wow. Sí. Dios sí. mío. Mindy Calado, thank you for that super chat and thank you for all you guys do. Wow, bueno, wow, we, bueno. wow. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't this exciting, Rose? You're like the Iron She's Chef. Standing on the cutting board. That's right. That's like don't Bobby Flay in uh, Kitchen Stadium there. I really. Don't, don't let Hiroyuki Sakai see that. Uh -huh. you this is, appreciate that. Or was it Masaharu Marimoto? I don't remember which Who one. Objected it was. To Bobby I don't think it was Marimoto, actually. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Very hey. exciting. So guys, amazing dish. We set a record for most viewers ever at 2.6 thousand from what I understand. Wow. Uh, Cameron missed most of the stream. Don't, go back and watch it. Yeah, we had a million subscribers it. today. We're gonna do a celebration live stream on uh, Thursday. <laughs> Rose is having a good time. All right. Hi Rose, honey. Do you wave hi to everyone? Hi. Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, super fun. So we're gonna make some more plates, crush them. Uh, I think I've hit my limit of one margarita. What about you, Art? I think I'm there too. Yeah, we're, we're good uh, on that, but my gosh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's a great day to be alive, right? Man, I'm Very gonna true. crush this so good. We're gonna crush it, you guys. So that's it, amazing time hanging out. The crew thanks you for a million. We thank you for your support. Um, I will type up the recipe. If all goes well, this will be in our new cookbook, but a really easy version, hint, hint. Uh, but we'll see you soon. We'll see you Thursday. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. And thank what? you for your support. That's right. Thank you for all your support.